Okay, yeah. The intro to the third block. Yeah, that's really cool. We can feel the vibe from first strike. Yeah, so type it. Take your look. Here we go. It looks like we're gonna get into it. This is the next group. There are uh, super cool team on the left side. This is a Fukuoka and legendary player, player RB. Uh, and oh, yeah, RB, RB, yeah. uh, the combo master. Inoue Oro 2, which is a, a, a lab freak and does a lot of uh, content in Twitter to search about uh, oral routes and combos. Yes, yes. It's really, it's really cool. And on the right side, uh, it's a Koenji team, uh, which is a cool team too. Yamatora, Araki, uh, Goro Neko. So that's an exciting match to watch, actually. I'm kind of excited for the Fukuoka yeah. team. Kodai, Inoue, Oro. Yeah, actually, I'm looking, look, really looking forward to see his yeah. Oro. He's still really active now. and uh, posting on Twitter like uh, some texts and all. Let's go. So, we got the Karakusa now. Or will be on the corner. This is the Konchi power. <laughs> Araki, yeah. The, the, such a good guy, too. Slight left lead from Makoto right now. Yeah. Um, and I'm almost, he had almost has better. Yeah. I, uh, guys, you know, uh, basically, Oro is a character who, with SA2, is able to, like, uh, do unblockables, a uh, loop. Um, so, if you take, like, a. Uh, Close medium punch. Yeah, right now yes. this one. Okay, he ah, missed it a little bit. Yeah. You just need to enter. Yeah, this uh, standing middle punch, and then, uh, and then it would end up in an in infinite loop. Yes. Maybe right now as well. If he doesn't tech, but he takes. Ah, okay. So he he to tech, so he doesn't take the unblockable. But basically, the game plan of Oro is is to charge a middle a little bit and try to fish for this uh, medium punch. Yes. But now, yeah, he doesn't need the, the, the matter. He just want to chip out. Yeah. Yeah. And because he did well. Yeah, he did well on neutral, so he got the first one without any unblockable, so which is very really good. So Oro almost has his over meter now. Oh, he tried the Karakusa, but it was a little bit too far. Like, yeah, now I think Oro can start the loop with what, like one and no one third of uh, super? Yeah. So, I think, yeah, he, yeah he, he, he's now looking for the opportunity. Yeah. He will try to, to keep the distance and uh, use Makoto's patience, and then he, he will find the opportunity there. Yeah, yeah now he's starting to look, yeah, now. And this is worth it because. Oh, she miss missed it, yeah. yeah. Unblockable. Oh, oh he missed it. He missed okay, it. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, he parried the other side, so he couldn't do the unblockables, which is really nice because yes. the one way to escape this is to parry in a good timing. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's quite, quite hard to, to time well. Oh, nice uh, entire, like, if uh, it doesn't quick stand. Uh, another setup here. Oh, okay, not that good. I was expecting a but it was just a chip out. Okay, nice. Yeah. Very nice play from uh, Inoue here. I think he didn't went for the... Also, I, I don't know if in this case he could do the unblockable, but he didn't go to, and he went like, for a kind of classical mix-up, classic mix-up, and it shows that he can play also without the one touch of death, because people have this image of Oro doing just like the one touch of death, etc. Yeah. But actually, Oro has some like other weapons, and, and it's kind of good at neutral, etc. So we saw here Inoue is, a, is such a, a good player. Not a gimmicky, I would say, <laughs> with only double doubles, of course. Yeah. So, we're now discussing the strategy here. We can yeah. see Hiyama. Oh, yeah. Very <laughs> strong. Okay. Oh. There he is. Oh, no. He, ah. It was a feint, actually. Ah, it was a feint. Yeah, yeah exactly. he, he pretended. He will wait his turn. But actually, yeah, uh, it's really tough for Oro. Chun, Chun is really tough for Oro. He would have won, but I guess he... Yeah. Maybe there's like some other players he wants to to yeah to be it or not risk it. Yeah. So he feels more comfortable. Yeah. So now you you against Oro. So now we see that Oro changes to SA3 because uh, it's better. He cannot do unblockables. Yeah. And he can juggle with SA3 uh, to do a lot of damage and pressure. Yeah, it creates a lot of damage. Yeah, SA3 and stun as well actually. Yeah. So now he controlled nice escape to the to the Genage and he, yes. he used the double jump of Oro to kind of win time and and kind of. Uh, change his pace of jump. Yeah, so he knew if he, if he would end up in the corner, it would be over. Yeah. So he had like a nice, uh, nice deci decision here. Ooh, nice combo. Okay, now he will look. Oh, this yeah. is instant okay. overhead. He will not even dare to use. Yeah, he keep it for the next round. And this is really good for for Oro for Inoue because now he has a full meter, and if he gets yeah. Yun to the corner, it's really hard for you. 
has a Genji and it has the pressure. Oh, nice knockdown. Okay, now it's okay. He will not crit so much damage and he even missed it. Yeah, so now. Oh, oh. special throw. Okay, so. it's okay. Oh, okay, this is getting tougher now. Yeah, okay. Now he's dead. Nice, nice player from Sunny here. Yeah. I think Inoue wanted to really escape the Genejin, so he would like wake up with backdash and stuff. And yeah. And Sunny really read that and did Miti to not let Oro escape easily. Nice, nice start of the round here. And you can see here like the the met, uh, the, like the the life from Yun is decreasing quite a lot. Yeah. And the pressure is so long. He didn't even combo. Yeah. That's insane. Half of the life almost. Nice Ooh, cross up. That's the most nice setup, nice. I think. Nice read here. He tried to chip out. Oh. Really, really strong play here from Inoue. Inoue, like, so everything he said, you don't have the right to do like a random shoulder mid screen. Yeah. I will block it and, and, and punish you. So, really, really strong play by Inoue now. He is certainly one of the best Oro player uh, in Japan, if not the best, to be honest. And it's cool to see him in Tokyo. Because yeah, I think yeah. Uh, Inoue Oro, Munakata. Yeah. I think there's uh, one more. Uh, Oro, two. Uh, uh, and the. Um, Thanatos. Thanatos, yeah. Thanatos. Okay. So oh. here he is. Yama. Yeah, Yama. So. Like, we, we, we don't see him like a lot, but he was he's one of the strongest Chun Li, actually. Yeah, yeah, he's a really strong player. Um, we can see like how the, th the matchup is tough for Oro because Chun Li can control, and, and then when she has SA, it's. Or can almost do not nothing, but it's hard for him. If I remember correctly, at the time, uh, Rikimaru was saying that uh, after uh, I forgot the, the three uh, the, the three monsters from Chun Li. Uh, oh yeah, 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 the the like uh, Godzilla. Yeah, uh, Ghidorah. Uh, uh, Ghidorah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So after Ghidorah, Hiyama, Mochi, and. Uh, and uh, Oryu. Oryu, yeah, yeah we're the next. Are, yeah, are, are the next guy. So the baby. Yeah, <laughs> Hiyama is one of the overs. Yeah, so even if you, maybe you, you're not family with him, but he's a really strong player. Oh, this is a really nice. tough matchup, actually, for Oro. Actually, Chenli, if she stays at the, at the at the range of her cr reaching middle kick, Oro cannot do anything. Yeah. Even if he parries, I think he can only like do like a cr crouching mid uh, high kick. Yeah. That's all. I can do just run house, and if you quick stand after, there is no no setup, nothing. So yeah, it's really hard for Oro. And actually, the point with Chun Li is like to stay really close to Oro to avoid all the jumping cross ups yeah. and all. And you have a, a fast dash. So as you can see, yes. like, he he pushed uh, Oro to the corner, and and actually he really closed the, the matchup yeah. so well that like Inoue looks so like he couldn't do like almost nothing. Like nice play by yeah. yeah. If Chun Li stays, yeah. if Chun Li stays close, the only uh, uh, choice for Oro is like either to dash, which is quite risky, and uh, we can react easily, we can jump. But if if she's close, it will uh, she, she can uh, cross yeah, down, cross down. Like she can dash under or yeah. like do back jump. Yes, uh, yeah, it's so hard for. It's so hard. It's That's really why actually it's eight two actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People Match say they for, uh, yeah. yeah, they said like seven three or eight two. Yeah. So now we have Kodai, which is a really strong young player for Kodai. Yeah, I've heard his name actually. I've never played against him though. Or maybe I played, but... Uh, yeah, it was long ago. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so also this matchup is kind of tough for Young, but it's a, he has like a little bit more sweat on than Oro yeah. for against Chen. And Hiem is playing really well now. He's yeah. building his meter. Okay, now Young has like only like 30-40% of life. Okay, now he, he has right two times, he can stun Chun Li. I think Hiema can look like for a crutching parry and it, it's over, but... But yeah. that's the string of yeah. game. As well, you can see, it stuns so fast with the ex yes. so you take two, three mix up and you start it dead. <laughs> yes, yeah, did, yeah, really nice job here and nice pressure. Ni nice confirm from Hiema, Hiwala. Yeah, but he doesn't have any pressure now. Uh, like Hiema can parry. With no, yeah. no major risk. Yeah. Okay. Nice here. On. Corner. And she, okay. Yes, she, to she's struggling a little bit. Okay. Now she, okay. So now this nice defense. Yeah, yeah. Nice defense for Yama. And now it's a, a little bit tough for Kodai because Yama has almost a beat her. And, and, and then the matchup goes really horribly. But Young can do it. So yeah. She only has one meter now. Yeah. It's not enough. She needs like maybe one and a half. Nice okay, now she, she, she can start building it. Actually, if she hits some hard moves, on even on guard, it's, 
it uh, provides a lot of matter to Chenli actually. And on the hit, it's even worse. Yeah. Okay, now, yeah, she's one and a half now. She, if she enters one, just one uh, Hoyuksen, then it's almost over for Yang. Oh. Like, oh. We, we could see here the pump from Yang, it, like, is, like, avoided, like, the crouching middle yeah. kick. It was really beautiful. nice. And, and actually, yeah, the palm, and we can see, like, that's the matchup. Uh, the the pace of the matchup is, like, Hiyama was controlling the most of the time. Yeah. But Kodai needed, like, one uh, pressure and two, like, two mix up. And then Chun died because uh, Yang Yang is so fast. So that's the little, I would say, advantage that Yang has. For example, he can like really turn out the matches yeah. really quickly. And uh, also, as I said, like, like the, the, the major chance for him was to end, like to use his Hoyuksen, right? Yes. But uh, Yang was aware of this. That's why he, he was, he knew that she, she would be looking for pushing middle kick and all. Oh, this is a hard jumping for Kodai. This is, yeah. Half of nice time. start here for Goloniko. He's a really strong player and uh, really strong on, on tournaments, as we said earlier. Wake up, uh, like yeah, nice parry. Yeah, like we, we can see, like in this, this is really the the first round uh, kind of uh, the first match, the kind of thing. He did like a lot of kind of risk uh, with the parry, wake up parry two times, and yeah. it paid off. So let's see how like good I will adapt to it. And this is actually a really tough uh, matchup for Dudley. That's true. But he's doing a nice job in uh, getting the, the right parries here. Ooh. Yeah, he tried here like to gamble a little bit. Yeah, he tried to do down parry again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he got punished this time. So nice adaptation yeah. from yeah. Kodai who, who saw it two times and no, not two, three times yeah. at least. I think like the first <laughs> run he can surprise a little bit Goroniko yeah. because he's like a little bit like a risk, high risk player. But uh, I think he now no, he know it. Kodai knows it. Nice confirm. Oh, oh that's tough now. He did it. Up. Okay. Almost nice confirm. That this is tough for Yang now. Oh, nice maybe a. Uh, oh, what? Nice parry. He's trying like to chip out, but it's, it's not working. This is going to be one mix up. He's going to to come back now. Try to down parry now. But He's looking for his uh, like free uh, like his meter now. He wants oh, to chip out with yeah, it. I think so. Yeah, yeah. But nice back jump on yeah. the corner with the uh, a, a little bit lucky though. A little bit lucky. <laughs> yeah. Was hard for for Kodai too. He looks like uh, turned up. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, we okay, okay. Like now he's the, the muscle is back. Shirt. The muscle is back. <laughs> he's removing his shirt. Let's go, pop up. Yeah. <laughs> the the camera guy like like uh, showing the muscles. <laughs> like a little zoom on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Ibuki against Dudley actually not that easy for Dudley. Uh, not like a really super good matchup for yeah. Dudley because he can be anno yeah. annoying a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So oh, Kopunye nice. is doing a nice start now. He's going to yeah, perfect. That's really tough. I think he, he tried to guess parry to three. Yeah, times. it looks like he he just played like 20 games before uh, this match actually. <laughs> He's like a warm up from a from a, the very first second. Yeah. Kopun. Which is also a really good Ibuki from, uh, from uh, Fukuoka. He looks like, yeah, really comfortable. Yeah, really offensive Ibuki, actually. Really, like, aggressive, uh, which is kind of rare. Um, and it's really cool to see. But now he has jumping now. What's going to be the mix-up? Overhead, yeah. super. But oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate, he missed and then get the punish. Oh, that's kind of tough for... Uh, the muscle was not enough, looks like. <laughs> the pop-up and muscle. He needs, like, to push up a little bit more. <laughs> Oh, uh, Yamatora, which is uh, one of the organizers in uh, Mikado, who organized the uh, Tuesday night. Uh, he's a good Makoto player, actually. Um, Yamatora, so yeah, I already yeah, heard his name. He's a kind of good, good player, but let's see. The friendship matchup, two enemies from the, from the game. Keeping her distance. Yeah, not, is, sure, not sure what Makoto is looking for. Maybe try to build his meter. I think so. And he tries to use the crouch medium kick, which is really strong against Shibuki. Yeah. Nice confirm. The Minosaur overhead. Now the mix up. Oh, it's like Street Fighter 4, right? Yeah, exactly. He uses his meter. Okay. So not sure what. 
Sarugi is, is going to be the outcome here. They could have punished with like EX uh, Tsurugi oh. uh, after the, the close medium kick, but he didn't do it. He might oh, oh, he missed the super. Unfortunate okay. from Makoto here. Oh, he had the chance to Yeah, he had the chance. He could have confirmed with his uh, Seichu Sen, but he's missed it actually. Engage. Yeah, that drop is tough. It's tough for, for Yamato. But uh, I, I think he maybe he's also warming up right now. Yeah. Being his better. Ooh, nice meaty target combo now. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what he's looking for. Kopun uh, looks like more uh, aware of what is going on. I think so. Okay, yeah, nice that's confirmed. True. Nice confirmed, but. Now he has no meter, he can still have a little bit of life, so nice uh, jump back uh, roundhouse. Oh, that's a miss, I think. <laughs> he can win now if he does, if he does a nice choice, but no. This is a really uh, the, the standing roundhouse for Makoto. is really good because uh, with some throw, it's really good against throw and uh, uh, down parry. It's a kind of a good move to use sometimes with Makoto. Uh, and especially she. She goes a little bit back from the down, so yeah. her hurt box changes a little bit, so it's kind of cool to use. Oh. Makoto managed to put Ibuki in the corner. Oh, nice oh. throw again. He took it out now. Nice, uh, I think the next choice will be critical. Yeah, yeah, he tried. He was expecting maybe like a backdash or, yeah. or something. Now, nice, okay. oh, he missed it again. That's so rough on Yamato. He could have won right now. Yeah. I hope for him, let's see. This is tough. But I, I think he can do like some Tsurugi to chip out maybe. Yeah, but now he's chipped out. <laughs> oh, he was too in, un, unpatient. Yeah. yeah, that's unfortunate from Makoto. He could have won actually, but... Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, like the, the, the link missed. Uh, yeah, it's it's tough two times. So yeah. It's actually... So they just finished them. The match and like the 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 Fukuoka team, which is uh, can be actually can be a team winning the tournament. It's a possibility. They have really their five players. So so who, possible. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know who were the other players. Fukuoka. Uh, so there is the RP, uh, Inoue Oro. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, Inoue was, was is a Fukuoka guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he was a Fukuoka guy. Isn't it like a Nagoya or something like this? No, uh, I think it's a, it's a Fukuoka oh, yeah? guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Also, the Dudley player. Um, so far, I always thought he was like yeah, uh, a guy, a guy from Nagoya. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Uh, with uh, uh, Kukuni and the others. <laughs> What's next? Yeah, yeah, see, even Japanese can miss. Can yeah, miss exactly. Some links and stuff. But the pressure is really high, eh? especially on the last on your team. But, but yeah, actually, like, yeah, could feel him a little bit pressured because. Mm. Uh, he did, yeah, he didn't have like a really uh, like a solid game plan here. Yeah, I think so. I think so. He was kind he, of a really he tried like to survive more than to to show his his game. Yeah, I think so. I think so too. Yeah, he was really scared. We, we can yeah. see as a, how he was playing. He was really playing from the back, really defensive. Um, yeah, I think this is yeah, what mattered here. Like uh, Ibuki was yeah, kept kept his composure, mm. played the played his game, and Makoto it was not the case. Yeah, so. Yes. Some oh, okay, they're playing on stage actually right now. I'm not sure why why they're not showing any game. But I think they're gonna show soon. Maybe there is like another. <laughs> okay, uh, looks like maybe there's like another big match somewhere else. An exciting one. Let's yeah, see. yeah. We can okay. Maybe there's like an issue with the camera. No, oh, not sure. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think there is like yeah, an issue. Yeah, with yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, who are the two playing? The two teams. So the, the, what, one of the cool things as a spectator in Cooperation Cup is like the match is like oh, there is no break yeah, yeah, whatsoever. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, it's going really yeah, fast. Yeah, and like you have one good one good match and then the other one is real so good and like it's going like really really fast paced. Yeah. And really so cool. there's like so many like strong players that actually most all the matches actually are good to see. Actually, we cannot see any like. Uh, Match like with some very random play, uh, yeah, yeah, player, yeah. Uh, like who, who start started over there's like of course like some biggest beginners as well, but most of the players are quite strong here, experienced. <laughs> oh, so the, the two teams, so oh red, uh, red, uh, famous uh, OG and Namero. Yeah, two OG actually. Namero two is like wow, so it's, yeah. uh, it's a cool match to see. So the juggle now. To the pressure. I think oh. Namero is the from. Um, uh, I forgot. Uh, he's playing with Nuki and all. In uh, not big one. Is it? 
Nipoli, Nipoli. Nipoli, oh yeah, sorry, what, I forgot the name. A game spot, yeah. He's a game spot guy. Yeah, he's a game spot versus guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm not sure actually where he's coming from, but I just know that he's a really old name. Yeah, yeah, it's a really OG player, strong uh, Ibuki. But Namiru, oh, it has the juggle now, yeah. and it hurts because there is no damage radius now, the hard hit. Oh, nice wake up. Super, but doesn't do a lot of yeah. damage. Okay. Now, soon has his Genji. Okay, he used it. He decided to to just like crit damages with some uh, special so, moves. Kind of a textbook match from uh, Namiro, like showing that you know when you get the first ne good neutral exchange, then you get the meter, then you apply the pressure, and then you get the meter again. <laughs> and it's yeah. like from it's really important against you to. To from the start of the match, to really not let him to get like his free meet, his meter for free, so to force him to take risk to do it, or yeah. like to really try to be offensive a little bit. But of course, it's hard. It's really hard to do. Um, so, so that, yeah, I actually I really like to see Namero here because until I met him like in 2011 or 12, when I first came like uh, for a long period in Japan, and I see him still here, so yeah, it's, it's nice cool, to see. Yeah. Him. Oh, Manma, okay. Manma as well, an OG. It's like all OGs here. Yeah. Really cool guy, too. Yeah. So he plays also Ryu, right? Yes, he plays also Ryu, too. Usually he plays Ryu. But yeah, sometimes Guki as well. Wake up. Again, the parry after the dive kick, he did like a forward parry, which is, was not a, a stupid idea in this uh, situation. Um, yeah. Because the Yun likes to do target combo after dive kick. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Option. It's quite, quite pre previsible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see, like, getting Jean. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, he read the, the R5 one yes. now. He has the whole juggle. Uh, he missed the combo, that's, yeah, that, that's, that's sad. He would have done like, more damage and uh, built his meter. And uh, Guki has two meters, so maybe Demon or like to confirm? Uh, oh, looks it looks like he's looking for Demon, actually. Yeah. He did like a kind of weird, uh, like suspicious, like yeah. for the <laughs> middle bench. Maybe he tried like to do Kara Demon. Maybe. But he's gonna die in the Oh, almost, sorry. <laughs> Not sure, like, uh, he tried like to gamble like a middle... Uh, Middle uh, kick, yeah. maybe it was middle touch. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's hard against you in this situation because you can like jump dive kick, jump to the hell, yeah. like head, a, a lot of options. Hard. Yeah, a lot of options. So you need to have the hard read. So. I didn't think so. Oh, nice escape from uh, Manma here. Yeah, but it gets oh. But not enough. He still has two two meter. Uh, actually, he's oh, uh, another like hard hard read or uh, like a high risk thing here. So he, he, he still has a chance to win actually because yeah. he has the demon. Oh, yeah. he tried again actually. Yeah, he he just wants to enter his demon. Yeah, yeah that's. Yeah. He, he was a little bit too stop burn maybe. Yeah. Maybe he should win. have like used yeah. just the super normally confirmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it looks yeah. like he just wanted to show his execution. He <laughs> <laughs> was like, yeah, I can do it. Look, guys. I mean, you want to look cool too. So. <laughs> But yeah. unfortunately, like, yeah, it's kind of... Uh, actually, it could have been a nice choice, but it, with a better uh, uh, conditioning, actually, yeah, before. Maybe, yeah. But uh, yeah, Yun was, like, moving around. He didn't, like, even, like, prevent Yun from moving before trying yeah, to... Maybe I should, like, some meaty, some, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, down... A bit more conditioning yeah, was yeah. required. Yeah. yeah. Because in this spot, when uh, Guki has two meters, it's kind of scary because you can get Demon, or yeah. you can get, like, a, a confirmed two super, which yeah, is exactly. a lot of damage against Yun, so... You could have tried, actually, this. Would, would have been Oh, Shie, Shie, he is really, yeah, Legendary one of the strongest player. skin actually. Yeah. Really cool, uh, really cool player. Uh, let's see. And here, yeah, really technical can actually. Yeah. He has a blog with all the te techniques and all. Yeah, that's really, yeah. really, really nice guy too. So let's see, but he gets the Yun reels. But uh, yeah, Namero is showing like the OG power here. Oh, new combo. Is it, is it the combo? Oh, no, it oh, no okay. Yeah. <laughs> Because I was scared. It I was, was like, like "Oh, yeah, is it new?" Yeah, yeah. I was, I was surprised. So let's see. She got over a nice with punish on the down uh, medium kick. Really nice by she. Nice throw. Now we can keep it on the corner, but it's really hard to can without like. Super oh. Old. Yeah. Try maybe something else. Should have done the, the, the middle, uh, the the low punch uh, short you actually. Yes. But it's hard to. to yeah. Now, now he was looking like to put you in the corner. Oh no. Now yeah, just trying to escape from the, the oh. game. Oh, nice, nice escape. A nice conversion. Yeah. 
they throw some moves to see because. But now it's for Ken, it's not that easy because he doesn't have the buff in the turn. So he, he's not too scared in this situation against oh. Ken, even in the corner. Actually, most of the Ken are looking for this to do like the bad throw and put yeah. the, the opening in the corner. It's, it's like a throw, throwing so uh, like a, a way, like a miles away. Oh, he didn't come oh. It's okay, he still has... Oh, it's getting tougher maybe. He should do like Matsuken did. Trying to do like some Shoryu like uh, three, four times in a row. Oh! He was really cold here. Yeah. Like, okay, I see you. Here is my uh, crouching yeah. middle punch. Like, what, what do you say like about Ken? Like, back throw is really strong uh, weapon of Ken because back throw of Ken like brings to the corner yeah. directly. It's really strong. Actually, it's really scary. Like, yeah. uh, when Ken does a cross up on you, he can either like do like target combo and convert into a Shoryuken, Shoryuken or even like a super or. Yeah. He can do like bath throw which is straight easy. to the corner, yeah. and then in corner usually it's really tough. Yeah, this is one of the strength of Ken that people forget about it. It's yeah. the back throw good yeah. bringing to the corner, and, and it's like the pressure. Then Ken has a really good like pressure game with yeah. the throw and like the confirm and, and the target, etc. So, yeah. so it's really one of the strengths of Ken. Uh, yeah, that's why actually I personally try to only stay at one third of the screen, like uh, so that if even if he does cross up. It doesn't bring you to yeah. the corner yet. Yeah, so yeah. Some players try to do that against Ken. So. Oh, no. is it oh nice reaction. reaction. Maybe reaction. I think so, yeah. So, really good by Sheen, but it gets the juggle now, the pressure. But actually, I don't really like uh, this option because uh, he did like show you, but he, if he does parry, he will, can get more damage. damage. I agree, I agree. But maybe it was on the heat yeah, of the moment. Yeah, maybe on the moment, yeah. Like feeling oh, like uh, Ube showed you. Nice confirm and like kind of move punish, like a good uh, distance to do the... I'm not sure if he can do like the forward, uh, backward, uh, like uh, behind the forward yeah. thing with... Uh, oh. Yeah, this is the special... <laughs> the special. Cheap, jump like Oh, jump and teabagging uh, as well here. <laughs> He's playing like me in 2003. <laughs> with yeah, my... Uh, you and <laughs> he was teabagging also like the match before. We yeah. saw him, so. No, actually, not 2003, 2006, I would say. <laughs> this is the time I was playing Yun. Okay, gain energy now. Really hard for Ken to, 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 to get. The good thing I would say for Ken is if he takes true, it's not that lot of damage. Yeah. But it's a lot of meters. And so he already has yes, his meter now. He, he just did like the finish, one sitting high, high punch on it, and now he's the gain. He doesn't care now. Now it's he just has to escape and to use his Genegin and he can win. So now it's time to Ken to shine. Actually he had like one opportunity to... Oh, okay. Now he, he won if he doesn't miss. Nice read, because a lot of people in this situation will go for the like small confirm. Yeah. Uh, like down confirm, so I think it was a nice read to, to go for the down parry. Actually I'm wondering if Ken would have done like the target combo into uh, super. If he would, it would have killed Yun or not. Uh, maybe, maybe it would have uh, remained a little bit maybe. Maybe a little bit because yeah. Maybe that's why he tried. Yeah. Maybe he thought that maybe uh, he has this chance to try to try to do a parry. Yeah, yeah. And in terms of risk reward, at least yeah. he has another chance if he's wrong. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like where you see like kind of Joe Strike is a cool game. It's kind of like those risk reward are really dynamic. Yeah. Compared to the meter, to the life bar, etc. So it's really like a cool aspect for it. But he, he did like really nice. It was really um, um, aware of yes, the of this of situation. Yeah. So, Mr. Mikami, I have never heard of this aura before, so I'm really curious to see how he plays. Oh, he plays SA2, which is surprising against you. Mm. Nice. Oh, oh. Nice. He, Yun tried to jump again, but uh, he was stopped instantly. Yeah, try, yeah, looking to see how he will use his meta actually or yeah, here. I thought he will use after the throw, but actually he gets the yeah. because of it and now he gets a little combo. Or maybe he just wants to like some show you EX, maybe I'm not sure. Maybe. Let's see how he's gonna use it. Some pressure, nice uh, uh, kick. Yeah, Oro is like a Oh, okay, oh. like this, and then what? What? You it's like using like as a wall. Yeah, nice not parry. so efficient. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, not so efficient. So okay. actually, uh, I was expecting not a uh, jumping middle kick, but I was uh, expecting a jump throw actually. Yeah, exactly. So 
The thing is here, he, he got the, the, the confirm with the, the target coming to the engine and, and now like, Aura has only one bar and if he would have show, sh 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 chosen like the the, f the third one, yeah. he would have won actually the first round. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, but let's see how he will use his material. Another try here. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, it's kind of uh, yeah, it's really not the the, the good uh, uh, super to pick against you and Yeah, it's really hard to use as we can see. Unfortunately. So. Let's see how how he, how he goes. Like he doesn't have the super yet. Get some troll. Mid screen. Oh, oh. This, this is going to hurt. Him. It's going to kill actually. Yeah. If he doesn't miss. Yeah. yeah. Straight hit. Juggle. Yeah, low damage. Reduce. Yeah. This is the yeah the, the most Wait. yeah one of the 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 most terrible <laughs> conversion actually. Yeah. yeah I mean like a like the, the, the devastating. Yeah. The the the, the close medium. Yeah. Medium. High damage. High damage. Really high damage actually. So. Okay. So who is next? We can see some players discussing with each other and waiting in front of, of yeah. the arcade. So yeah, I think maybe we're gonna pass in another match. Or okay. Maybe. That's really cool. Okay. We just saw the finish. No just finish. Yeah. <laughs> It's coming. Welcome to the world of so, Let's see. Okay, Dudley against Dudley again. I feel it's the second time we see this mirror. Yeah, second time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. second time. Which is a funny mirror because yeah, back swing blow all the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to hurt. Really oh, max damage here. Yeah, max damage. Combo. Oh, I guess. Well, why? why he, should have, yeah, he should have not like a. Uh, he should have guard actually. Because the Dudley was anyway too far to. Even if he does like the, the dart, like the. Exactly, the, rose the overhead. The overhead, yeah. He cannot link into any uh, super. Yeah. Uh, Goto and Lori. Oh, okay, Lori is like uh, one of the top five uh, Dudley, as far as I know. Oh, it's like the Vano team. So yeah, yeah. Oh, Vano is Lori. I see. Okay, this is like a really strong team actually. Yeah, and like Lori looks really solid now. Yeah, yeah. He's a beast. Yeah. So now just <laughs> actually Lori and uh, the, the the Ken player are aren't very like from the same region. Uh, I mean, like Shie, yeah, Shie yeah, and Rudy. Yeah, yeah. So they play each other. Are they like from Nagoya both? Yeah, Nagoya, yeah. I think yeah, yeah. So. so it was really fast. I'm wondering why we're not in the same team, though. But, uh, yeah. So who's going to be Oh. Uh, so. It's uh, Akage uh, Gairu. It's a really uh, it's a good um, Alex player, actually. Oh, okay, okay. Akagairu. Okay. Yeah, we played against team actually. I yeah. think. So is uh, is that kind of like a good Alex player? He plays a color Genki in this matchup. I know Genki hates this matchup. He told me so many times. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Akagairu is really. Yeah. He's quite strong. Not sure if he's going to stand out against Rory. Yeah, because Rory is. Yeah. He's really strong and even Dudley is quite tough for Alex. Yeah. Oh, nice splash, so now he has the. He's not in the corner anymore. Now he's waiting to get tough for Alex, but he needs to the corner. Oh, he has, his, oh he has his sense. This is a really nice entire, like the. Yeah. the Actually, I'm, I'm wondering if uh, even if I'm Alex ready. times at the last minute, at, at the last second, if he can. Uh, if it would like hit or not. That's interesting to see. Uh, so, nice entire is about like mixing the entire. Now. The mix up, nice overhead because yeah, nice never, control, nice yeah. He's, he's keeping cool. Yeah, he's really nasty right now, uh, Rory. Rory is like playing really smart. He's using yeah, all his, the tools like uh, against which Alex cannot do anything. Yeah, that's really really tough. Actually, it's even tougher than I thought. Actually, <laughs> he was like uh, using some new uh, weapons here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Really, really fast pace and really Welcome nice. Like, looks as uh, fast fingers, fast fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you're in a interesting matchup. Say the I got the picture. Get 
and wait for Dudley to prepare the neutral. And that's the now. most of the Dudley matchup, right? They're really annoying in neutral, but then Dudley gets a chance and can like yeah, can like uh, oh he heaven, yeah, yeah, heaven, legendary uh, Korean player, uh, old school. Going to be interesting match here. Nice parry to back throw, so now keeps in the corner, starts to charge his Some some pressure with the mirror. This is really strong that you're in this Corner game. pressure, but he doesn't have any over... Oh, he managed to build actually, yeah. quite quickly. Yeah, one more Aegis and it's over for Lodi. Yeah. Unless he managed to do some magic. Yeah. yeah. Nice. He like, did like a, a fireball Aegis into crotch, which is a nightmare to parry. <laughs> yeah. So... And he has almost his meter, so nice, uh, nice over here. Yeah, he has a one more meter. Oh yeah. He's one. hooking him in the corner right now. Uh, one back throw from uh, heaven can like really yes. do a lot of uh, lot of things. So like now we saw Rudy being really co conscious and yeah, staying yeah. really far. Exactly. To yeah. not take the back corner, so he takes no risk and try to build the meter for the uh, third round. Yeah. Because he has three meter now, which is really nice for him. Yeah, it was really a yeah, really nice choice from Rudy. Oh, he can chip out one more yeah. time. Oh, yeah. So yeah it was really nice choice actually. Yeah. He, he was backing, backing, uh, backing and uh, taking the distance, beating his meter yeah. and taking no risk. It was the perfect choice. Yeah, I think so. So, oh, he has the meter, but the mirror, so you don't use his meter. So, Rook can be kind of uh, good now because he doesn't risk that much now. Especially this kind of mirror, just a corner parry, basically. Like, he destroyed the, the mirror with the, the super. So now, now it's kind of equal foot. They both have almost one super. Uh, I would say the Urine one is a little bit stronger than the... Yeah, he's trying to push uh, Urine in the corner right now. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't have any of a meter, so the, the, uh, Urine can parry. Yeah. Now he's, he's he doesn't... Oh! This is... Yeah, this is actually really bad for Dudley. Oh! Uh, I think he put the mirror too far, and he could like reversal super... Yeah, actually I thought that uh, uh, Urine would just like, uh, like faint, like a jumping... Uh, uh, Low punch and uh, in, in guard, but he didn't guard actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. He should have, yeah, maybe. But yeah, the stress is low so fast, so. Yeah. So, match, yeah. last guy uh, from Strong Zero team. It's Tamako. Uh, uh, Tamako, Tam I'm not sure who. It's uh, the uh, one Dudley player. Uh, oh, another Dudley player. Okay. From, uh, from uh, oh, Newton Yama. Um, so, is it, is it a good Dudley player? So, let's see the mirror. What's he gonna do? Like. Oh, but Rudy is reaching. Yeah, Rudy is like is actually we can see he's controlling the string very well. Like he's yeah, taking out of the range of the over jump. Yeah, auto jump. And yeah, and then machine. entering uh, quickly and then jumping on the on the over uh, on the side and uh, nice like distance like how we manage yeah, distance. He's a beast right now. Yeah, yeah, he's is really well. He doesn't even dare like uh, care about using his meter, but yeah. I think he will start using now. Oh, yeah. Because he got, like, oh, unfortunately, it's Tamako because he had one chance, uh, but he didn't link the super yeah. didn't link so. Are you ready? Stuff for Tamako. Maybe it was the chance. So let's see how it's gonna go for the second. Nice and tight. Oh, nice. a little bit late actually. Yeah. A little bit late. Yeah. But, like, but nice anyway, I think he would have buried anyway. Yeah. Oh, nice. He did the, the yeah the the low uh, the small one. Oh, I was expecting maybe like a back throw actually here Extra. to put in the corner. Yeah, they, they were playing like kind of nasty like uh, <laughs> since two seconds. Yeah. Taking a lot of risks, but hey, it's really cool. Yeah. So Tamako won the match. What's the major, major situation? It kind of actually, goes, yeah, right? actually that's sad for Lodi. He, if he would have done like the back throw, he had like his meter uh, already full. Yeah. He would have done like a one uh, 50 15 It was done. Yeah. So let's see now how how they gonna manage. Who's gonna get the hit? So Tamako has the upper hand now. Okay, oh, this is nice good for Lodi actually. Oh, he was yeah he's afraid of the nice back of the super too. yeah to avoid a mix up so. Like Rory is playing real smart now, so oh, oh this is the special one. <laughs> I'm wondering, maybe it was like kind of. I'm not sure. It is, I think he didn't have. A uh, he had the one meter, I think, the yeah, other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but maybe sure. it was too far to. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm not sure actually. Yeah, no, not sure. Maybe it was just like. A, maybe just he, a he just saw the future. He doesn't need like to care. <laughs> <laughs> to care about. It. Yeah, if he sees the future, he doesn't. Need yeah. So. Nice. Uh, Nice. So it's sad, actually, I wanted to see Vano playing, actually, but uh, yeah, got it looks like he's getting carried uh, <laughs> yeah. by the Nagoya players. <laughs> yeah, All exactly. right, fellas, uh, 
Marco Mumbi. Thanks. Um, I think we're gonna rotate out. Okay. Yeah, sure. But uh, thanks for having you. Thanks for coming over here, guys. We appreciate it. Viva la France. Viva All la that France. good stuff. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank everyone. you. Thank thanks you. for uh, sharing your experience and your thoughts. We thank appreciate you guys. it. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye, guys. Bye. You guys can see, right? Yeah, you're okay. All right. Testing, testing. JP testing, testing. here. So that's uh, Kokujin and Match on commentary on the JP side. Mm -hmm. Thanks again to everybody who's tuning in from uh, all over the world, wherever you guys are. You know, uh, a lot of people restream. I see Max, Aris, uh, all those guys. Hope you guys are enjoying what we have so far. But we're uh, knee deep into round two. So we're going to be getting through round two and then looking at the playoffs after that. But we're still maybe in couple hours off a of top eight but JP how's your uh, how's your trip been so far how's your tournament been oh we went two and out dude but um, this is maybe my seventh or eighth coop so far so I'm you know always happy to be here it's, this is Super Bowl NBA Finals you know uh, pick your metaphor you know this is the big show for third strike so um, whether I'm here as a player or a spectator, it's so much fun, man. Definitely, what? sure, definitely, for sure. What do we have here? Hi, Yomoda is a bit of a metalhead, so I'm kind of on his side. You know, I, I feel bad always doing like biased commentary, but um, I, I gotta start with the metalhead. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Here, we're just chilling and watching some cool ass third strike, so I'm completely fine with that. Oh, wow! Oh, oh that was clean. The EX. Uh, I can't remember that move's name. Uh, cross count. That's right, cross count. <laughs> cross count. <laughs> the old uh, Gutex show. <laughs> <laughs> Is his name uh, Kosher still? No, I don't you, know. You, it, it's co I guess it's Kosher, man. It's not a big. Bro, I, yo, yo, you're good, man. Just, just do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> Is his name still Kosher? I don't know. Dude. I got to go to the jury on that one. I don't even really know, man. I don't, I don't even know. He was a really nice guy to me back in the day, signing me up for uh, FFA uh, ran bats. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It was good times. I remember watching those whenever I could, like some food, like random ar archive footage, whenever I could back in the day. It was good times for sure. Now this is kind of. Um what do you call it? Uh, when I started commentary in my earlier um, uh, gig, I started when Matsudo Sonic Beam was playing. And uh, just to remind people that didn't tune in earlier, Matsudo Sonic Beam, this game center is closed. So this is a really, uh, you know, an emotional uh, team, I think, dude. They're fighting for the honor of a game center that doesn't exist anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's that's really sad. How long ago did they close them? Uh, only a few months. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, I went I went there a couple of times. Uh, it's not too far off from from Tokyo. It's like only like it was like only five like forty five minutes or so. so. Yeah, it's actually fairly close to my house. So I, I was really sad to see that it closed. Not to be too corny with it, but I, I think that's the case for a few of the teams here actually. Rep yeah. Repping Dead Game Center. Yeah. But yeah. the question. Is the game center of the building, or is it the people playing there? It's, uh, dude, yeah, I. Uh, you should, you of all people yeah, should yeah, be yeah. able to, to. That should resonate with you of all. Coming where you come from, in the arcades you came from, 
you should be able to understand that better than anyone. Yeah, you're very right about that. I, I feel a kinship with a lot of the people that I played with at a lot of game centers that don't exist anymore. So I, I really respect the Matsudo Sonic Beam team. You know, that's cool that they're keeping it together. And I hope that they're able to stay friends and maybe they'll, you know, play a team next to. But here we are this year. Absolutely, like putting their soul out there. Although on their side we have third monster, all monsters with third strike for sure. I know, dude. That, that team right. is, it's not fair, dude. It's really not fair. I mean, I love your glasses, by the way. They're thank you very much. They're fantastic. Much appreciated. Got the, got these here in Japan, of oh, course. Oh, absolutely. Dude, those are really great. Thank you, thank you. Very uh, John Lennon, I say. No, no, no. Uh, they're actually anime glasses. Well, you know, uh, I, the, the influence is all meshed together, I guess. I guess. You know? I, I, I'm kind of speechless when I heard that. <laughs> I'm a Beatles guy. What, what animation? Oh, these are from uh, the main character from Trigon. Old 90s ah, anime, yeah. Okay, I've never watched it before, but I've uh, seen like you know, images. The old one, not the, not the remake. They, they just do. By the way. Just in case, clear find out, but. Are you ready? Go. Right, dude, yeah, Yamoda, dude. I mean, he is so good, and everyone on the team is good. Like, what do you do if you beat him? No, what? The problem is not just that. The problem is what you do after you beat him. Because, like, whoever else is next, it's just as bad. Yeah. Oh, boss. I mean, And the, the best thing is that even with these kind of teams, we've seen upsets. People like teams like this losing out of nowhere, surprisingly, year after year after year after year. So that, that is that is one thing I really love about the big third strike tournaments is a lot of the times the psycho, you know, like uh, monster teams. I mean, I hate to just use their team name, but like the monster teams, they don't actually have a great track record. You know, there's such a random factor with a single game tournament format. I mean, I mean, that's why there's things like the the KO curse for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. It lasted for for really, really, really long time. Yeah, that's the perfect reference. Definitely someone that you would expect like to win, to like be on like the winning team almost every year. It's like mm -hmm. escape his grasp for so so long. Yeah, I, I'm not a big like fan of like war as a word, but like I, you know, there's not a better word for it. You know, if you go back to Third Strike lore, you know, and you look at Ko's teams, like he always chose like excellent teams. It's like it's like I, I need to win this. So yeah, like yeah, yeah, exactly. if if, I'm, if if I cannot, in case I cannot do it for me, it's like it's like the Virgil, like the like the Marvel Three Teams meme. It's like it's like you're not gonna you're not gonna beat me. And even if you do, like I have this whole top, the rest of the team is also top tier backup. So it's like. <laughs> and then in the end, you know, the totally unexpected thing happens. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I think, I think this is this is the moment where everyone here uh, brings out their whole soul. Like people, just, like most of the people that play here are actually active the whole year, right? Yeah. But they play mostly like on their. The local arcade and people here don't really play um, like like especially people that play like uh, like specifically one game. Um, they they play with a heart, but it's not with, like like competition is not like the first and foremost priority for them. It's just that the possibility is excuse. I feel like it's more the excuse to like share together with other people that share your same passion, right? But this one, this 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 event in particular, is where everyone comes all out. Yeah, um, I, I think Third Strike is kind of a unique game. Um, it's persisted for a lot of years, and it's, it's a weird contrast being here at DreamHack because um, this event is really lifted up by esports. Mm -hmm. But this is really not an esports game. You know, I, I don't think there's a lot of people here that are making any money off of Third Strike. No, no, absolutely. I mean, uh, even without being like esports, I think. 
from what I've seen at least today, this is the most exciting. Like, even if I wasn't, even if I didn't know anything about finding games, like just looking around, you can see there's like this is a this is a section where of the event where you can see the most hype, where you can see the most passion, the, like the most intense. I'm happy to hear that, man. No, like, I mean, really cool I think comment. I think it's I think it's it's objective. Like, like even if you know nothing about finding games, you can just walk around and see, as you can see, there's something. In, there's something interesting going on there because like there's people there are like moving and getting excited getting hyped that's not happening anywhere else in the in the hole uh you know I, I i think that's a big part of the longevity of third strike um it's not an esports game but i think like the daigo parry was one of the original esports moments you know there's a lot of esports moments in third strike so that, that's why we're still here in 2023 at Coop. I mean, I, I think we're super fortunate also that uh, there was the opportunity to to run the event here uh, because uh, at least from what I know, uh, it, like the, the event was the opportunity came out in super uh, at super short notice, and you, for especially for people here in Japan, it's super difficult to like get days off, for example. So a lot of people here are making an additional sacrifice to actually be able to to be here because like this is this is not in Golden Week when every, yeah, most yeah, people get, right get the get the time out of, this, of stuff. So like this is like and especially such a no, sh short notice, but it was like. Um, uh, like I, I, if I remember clearly, uh, Matsuzan actually asked for a bit of forgiveness for the people for the people about this. But I was like, with all the, these years that we weren't able to do this, it was like, it's either this or it's gonna be another year where we cannot run cooperation. It's been too long for us, so we definitely need it. So we, we're go we're gonna do it. I hope and I hope you all can support us. And I apologize for the trouble that uh, this might cause people like of getting free days or that are not able to make it on such no short notice. I think that's a really great point. You know, I'm, I'm, um, I would like to reiterate that um, if you look at the past schedules of Coop, it was usually aligned with Japanese um, public holidays. And unfortunately this year, it was not really aligned with the public holiday and uh, I mean, how many foreigners are here? I mean, it's a really small percentage of the uh, people that are here are foreigners, you know, but we still had 430 people that entered a coop. Mm. So, but, you know, not everybody's from Tokyo. And so it, it's a little bit hard to organize a trip to Tokyo when it's only just Saturday and Sunday that you have a day off. And the average age of a third strike player these days, it's not you know university age i mean for for most of these games really the the average age is probably like around my age like uh the probably on the 35 40 rate yeah, for sure, exactly. on average so uh so and, and but especially here like like here there's like a, a more traditional uh working environment for most people so uh, it's definitely more difficult to like uh, make the time, especially coming from afar. But still, like people like the passion, this is what drives them. So they it makes me that. so happy about the health of the game that we were able to get over 400 people for this group with such short notice. Mm -hmm. It's awesome, dude. No, absolutely, absolutely. Um, we, we still see people like I. I heard. Um, Yuki had not been playing third strike at all and he still entered, you know, like I'm so happy to see boss here uh, a lot of the people that Have been playing third strike since Jump Street dude like you know, the, the original like uh, Like 2000 2001 tournaments. Yeah, they're yeah, still yeah. here playing. No, absolutely. Um, I actually remember I went to uh, I went to Newton on on Wednesday, which is the day where they do their like uh, week, their weekly gathering, and Nuki was there. Uh, I was there, dude, too, and it was so crowded. Yeah. It was I, so crowded. And I heard from some from some people that it was like the, the actually the first time that Nuki came out to practice for for this. I heard the same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's Sweet. cool, dude. I mean, I, even if it's the one time that he plays a year, you know, I, I'm happy that he chooses Coop. Uh, I mean, you, you can't miss Coop. I mean, yeah, yeah, this, this, this is the place to be for sure. Yeah. I, I, uh, my normal arcade is Cuban Quenchy, 
and I hadn't seen Roshi Ikari in a long time. Mm. And uh, he came out last night and he won our uh, singles tournament every Friday. Oh. That was really cool, man. So I, I, you really want to see the old school players at a tournament like this. Yeah, but... Um, you don't want to play against them. How, <laughs> however, I, I've also seen uh, a lot of new blood. Yeah, dude, really? absolutely. And, and like, um, I always want to mention, like, I, I always mention this story lately. But I was like super, like, impacted by um, the when when I got here. Uh, I don't remember if it was like the week before or after Evo Japan, but on on one of these day, like one of these exhibitions, they set up at Newton. Um, there's this uh, this is a uh, girl that plays Remy that had a first gen set with a Yuri player. Yoko? Yeah. Yeah, she Yoko. plays a Q. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I know, no, no, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, and like that that set was like like inspired like the story behind like um, she was losing like six one and she ended up taking it like ten seven. Damn, that's sick. I and, didn't watch that set. That's and, really cool. And like that was that set was so inspiring that even like. Uh, Matsudasan was sharing it around, and it was because, like, after they Wait. said, uh, they interviewed the players, right? And when they interviewed her, when, when they interviewed her, she was crying her heart out because of how important it was. Like, it was saying, like, basically, uh, she had been playing for like four years now, and for her, it was super important to this opportunity to prove herself. But, like, if she felt like, if, um, what will it mean, like, like, will it mean that if she loses, will it mean that all this effort has been, meant nothing? So she, she like, all her free time, all, all her time is, like, That's spent really cool, thinking man. about, That's about really that. Cool. And she actually traveled to, I think, to Nagoya and Kyoto to play other Urim players, like, other top Urim players, just to learn and prepare better for the matchup. And she, like, and especially, like, starting, like, like, going, being, like, 6-1, under, she ended up taking it 10-7. It's like, and and like that that that's the kind of thing thing is inspiring because if you can, like you can see that kind of spirit in younger people because she's really young. Dude. Yeah, very young. So that gives me hope for the future for sure. Me too, man. Imagine starting as a Remy player four years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a game that's almost 20 years old, it seems like hopeless. I mean, it, I was in that position uh, myself at one point. Like, um, uh, like I've been playing for uh, 20 years now, fighting games. But uh, I only got my my first chance uh, to like compete internationally yeah, about over 10 years ago. And even then, it's like it was like similar for me. I felt the same. Like, um, like I'm I'm, 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 I'm I'm at such a disadvantage. But um, like I'm, I'm happy that with all the experience I had behind and like. Um, all the effort I was able to put, I was not only able to have good results, but like more importantly, I was able to um, gain the respect and be looked as a peer by the by old school players from different games that I I respect and observe through like many many years. I could only observe from afar. I was like back in the day for me going to an event like Evo was like, man, I wish I could go to Evo one day just to watch these people do what they do, do their magic live. That's all. That's all I want. Uh, yeah, I understand the feeling, man. Um, I think everybody has that humble beginning, uh, but not everybody has that, you know, um, championship moment. Mm. And so, you know, we're we're hoping for that today. Yeah, definitely. This is this is looking tough. This is looking tough. Like, I mean, but now is definitely. Definitely a top contender for sure, but the, your side, you look think, at your side is like. Know, um, I think every tension player is kind of controversial because you know, like tension style really rewards guessing. So I think a lot of people hate tension. You know, so a lot of people by extension hate tension players. <laughs> but me personally, there's a lot of tension players from California, so I root for Vanau, I root for Cooney. Hold on, hold on. I feel, I feel that. To set to, to get to set up the engine, you have to earn it. Yeah, so I, I think I, it's fine. Dude, I Hold totally on. agree. There are player there are people out there complaining about dungeon when Makoto oh, exists in the game. Dude, there's <laughs> tens of people that complain Makoto's about Makoto's in the game. <laughs> there's always people that have something to complain about with every character. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll complain about twelve, dude. But you know, we'll wait till that matchup comes up. 
But yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, Denzu is cheap. It's kind yeah. of it's kind of funny. <laughs> I, you know, I think that's a big part about fighting games is even if you don't have a character that's top tier, every character has something that's cheap. And if you can find what cheap thing your character has and exploit it, then you can uh, win a lot of matches, man. Oh, no, absolutely. I mean, that's that's what you're supposed to do if yeah. you're competitive like in any game, really. Yeah. Well, I mean, he has the dungeons. Maybe. The problem with this game, right? Third Strike, he only gets one bar. I don't know if you ever played the other th uh, Street Fighter threes. That guy, Ryu gets two bars of Denjin. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's crazy. right. Second impact. Yeah. That's that's too wild. But you can tell uh but now like kinda used used all his bar. But no Denjin. Had to use the EX to get something started. I just looked at the chat. Is Roshi not entered here today? Uh, I would be very sad if Roshi's not entered. The awake your return, warrior. I'm not sure Are you ready? Go! Okay, who do we have next? I mean, they're just going back to back to back, so it's, it's kind of hard to keep yeah, up with who's yeah, playing. Yeah, uh, yeah. For sure, the, the pace of Coop is really, really fast. Just switching setups. Die nice. That's pretty solid damage. Good carry, solid. Got a couple of whoa, 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 whoa. That was pretty good, too. There, there. Nice parry there. The EX Toro hurts so much. Wow! Look at them, they're all cheering. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, that's one of my favorite images, the, the, the team, you know, everybody giving each other a hug. That's really cool. Dude. So this is my first co-op co -op cup. And it's like, I, I, you always see the clips like that. You see everyone cheering, but like, we have the ability to just like look at the stage. It's and like, cool, you see man, the energy right? there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know you guys were talking about it. It's like the team formula is just like, kind of a lost thing. Like, you don't, we, tournaments used to run team tournaments, but that was when like tournaments were smaller and they had no time, like we, they needed to fill up time. But now there's just so many players. Now it's hard to run a team tournament. But like, yeah, I think I think that got lost with like last generation, like yeah. last generation, like Street Fighter, like Street Fighter Five onwards, like PS4 generation onwards, or because uh, even back like like um, in the Street Fighter Four and Marvel Three days, like I, I I remember seeing I remember seeing a lot of team tournaments for for those games as well as yeah. others too. And it's fun because it's like. I mean, look at our, my, my team with Obama. It's like, we're, we're bad at the game. But whatever, it's a team tournament. <laughs> well, yeah, it, same for me. It's like yeah. it, it introduces a lot of uh, dynamics that would not exist in a singles tournament. Mm. You know, I think, for one... Uh, You're game, not going to see 12 in, like, top Yeah, eight, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Stuff um, like that. It, it mitigates balance issues. Oh. Um, I think, you know, there's a friendship aspect that's I mean, really there, nice. There, there, there's a, there's a, I think there's a 12 that's a uh, Coupe winner, right? I yeah, 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 you're right about that, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there, there's a lot of characters that would never win a tournament that would appear on a winning team mm -hmm. in yeah, a team absolutely. tournament. So that's really cool. Mm. And it's just like the energy. It's just, we're, it's, we were talking hello, about it hello. earlier, <laughs> but the, the pressure is different, right? It's not like a normal two out of three set where you sit down, play your game, like, oh, I didn't play so right. you got you got to run your set. you got to run one match, and get the guy out. It's not just that. It's, there's also a pressure, the other pressure that you don't want to... Be a burden to your teammates. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I, I totally so agree it's with like that. A, it's a different mindset, but like at the end of the day, it's it's fun. <laughs> it's a really fun time. I I really want more team events to come back. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Same here. Definitely would love to see more more of that coming uh, forward. You know, I, I kind of uh, I only play third strike, so I, I'm not so aware. You know, it sounds like by what you guys say, the team tournament format is you know not. It's kind of a lost art it's a, everywhere it's a else. Lost really? art just because, like, the big okay. majors, right? Like I was saying, before majors, would, you would get, like, 200, 300 players per, per like, the big game, Street Fighter Four, for example. Like, 200, 300, well, like, that's it. But now you're getting, like, 700, 800. You just don't have time to run the team tournament. Don't have this time. They don't have the time. Don't have the logistics, the infrastructure. Logistics, and the logistics. yeah. Oh, hold on. What's it makes sense. Um, I remember if you go back in the archives, uh, the SBO CVS2 uh, Top 8 was, like, an it's hour and it, a half it takes or so long, something, yeah. you know. I mean, they, they, it's tournaments crazy. had to get rid of it because it's like yeah, the logistics yeah, yeah. is just yeah, yeah, yeah. too long. Like the, I remember the Evo top eights will take like three hours for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. 
I do like this this uh, the shoulder cam, the <laughs> the <laughs> webcam. Oh, it's that's really it's cool. A, it's a lost art too. <laughs> We're talking about many lost things. Yeah, dude, <laughs> for sure. Um, well, this looks good, honestly. <laughs> yeah, uh, brings me brings me back to simpler times. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think everybody that's watching this tournament or playing in this tournament has an, a you know a soft spot for nostalgia. I mean, not not just uh, like in my personal experience, at least I, I um I've seen that at least overseas. There's a lot of younger people that have come to learn about this game and I appreciate it a lot, to be very honest. I'm really happy to hear that. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Uh, back home, especially with the pandemic, um, since uh, like offline is such a key component for fighting games, online and online just doesn't do it for me because I feel there's no there's no glory and there's no prestige online. So <laughs> there's no glory. That's a really good way to put it. I right? agree. I totally agree. Like I totally agree. like no one remember like you can say. I mean, it sucks because I know I know people put effort and uh, uh, like and time for online tournament. There's a lot of people like that. But like I feel that for example, you can win a big online tournament, and no one will remember about that like no. three months down the road. But like you can be a you can be a, a Cooper winner, a Togeki winner, and 20 years down the road, people still remember stuff like that, right? So for the during during the pandemic, I've been mostly focused on trying to bring new people into fighting games, any fighting game. Oh, that's whatever great, man! And and like not just just teaching them, them the games, but also about the culture and history. And through that, a lot of people have uh, get, get into, gotten to know about Third Strike. Like we actually have a fairly active Third Strike community in my country. Oh, good, good, good. Like, like, um, like, like for the yearly major, Third Strike is one of the begins with like, uh, with, with like, biggest number of entrants. Like, not the not the top one, but definitely in the top five or so. You know, I I remember thinking uh, this year's 2023. I thought, um, you know, 13, 14 years ago that it was going to be a definitely a, a downslide. But it's just, it's really interesting. I guess everybody has become middle-aged and they have money. They can buy their own, um, their third strike boards or whatever they're doing, you know, to keep the scene alive. It, it's really great to see. And I see it sprouting up in places that didn't have scenes before. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And, uh, I mean, even with, even with that, like, for example, back home, there's, um, like, the, the, there's a lot. Ooh. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> So back home, even though the, like, there's no, not really a big avail like availability of boards, but like we're used to that in South America, like that's like having to deal with disadvantages and like, um, like, uh, like things outside the planet, like, like that's the, that's the standard. It's not an exception. So we're always doing that. So like people will play on fight game and they don't want to really care. They want even in tournaments, they don't they run on that because we don't really have boards or anything. And they, they don't, they don't care. They don't have a problem with that. It's like we just want to enjoy the game and. And like uh, show that we we also like the game and we also enjoy the game. Yeah, you just gotta do whatever it takes, man. For sure. Ah. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Play safe. Play safe. Oh, God, the, the feeling of playing against Nuki. That's, you know, you know that feeling when you play against you know one of the really like legendary players. It's like oh no, sure. They're, their moves are faster or like they have better frames or mm. something. You know, like if I play against Nuki, like it's just it, everything is harder to punish. It happened to me. Reason. It happened to me um, when I when I got here um, like last month and I went to Newton and I played some games against uh, Rao. And it's like just like it's like like the, Old the school spa player, dude. spacing immaculate. immaculate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael, like, 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 you know, you know the distances on your life. And okay, so then, like, my analogy there is his moves are longer. You know, like, for some yeah, yeah, reason, yeah. his low forward hits farther. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His <laughs> standing fierce is longer. No, is that, he doesn't even need to. Like, he's like, no, you know what it is? His hair box is farther, be farther back. Yeah, yeah, than yeah, normal. yeah, 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 yeah. That's, That's what a, it is. It's another way to put it. That's what it is. Uh, however, oh, oh, wait, 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 we, oh, we, we've, we've, we've punished. Oh, oh, with the EX, or not EX, <laughs> not even the EX. spinning bird kick, jeez. Uh, 
Is it a playoff? I, I, I think it's the winner's playoff, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the winner's playoff because they, then you, they have to throw one, like, one, like, uh, or teams to, down to the to a loser's playoff. Now, there, there's an aspect of the playoff in Coop me and my friends often discuss. You know, you only send one person. Mm. We, f some of my friends feel like sending the Chun, I mean, like, besides Nuki, you know, just your average team, sending the Chun, sending the Ken, it's too obvious a play. We, okay, so here's the thing. My team made it to the playoffs. We have a Chun in the team. And what I'm going to, the only thing I'm going to say is we're not sending the Chun. It makes sense, man. It's, I think. Um, and and the, 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 the player that's going, it's, it's doesn't play, doesn't play Chan or Ken or Jan. I think one of the things that you have to consider with the team tournament is um, the no matter how good the character is, um, how much experience do people have in the matchup? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, there's an image that's circulating around that had the number of people that play each character. And uh, obviously, a lot of people play Ken. You know, Ken is a great character, but everybody knows that matchup really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. There's definitely, like, like uh, especially if you're playing against a, against a player, like, at this level, everyone's strong. So, they're like, every, everyone that's going to be involved is, is in your side. And, like, probably has been playing the game for 20 years at, <laughs> at least. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So, it's like, everyone, like, okay, you have a good tool, but, like, are you like one of the best? Because if you're not one of the best, what option you have to make a difference? It might be a good idea to send your Ibuki player to the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I mean, I, I don't think I don't think they I don't think your teams are listening to us, but we're actually sending the El the Elena player. Yeah, that's, that's a good <laughs> idea too. Yeah, man. yeah. There's direct feed issues? No, there's there's just no direct feed right now because um, uh, we're setting up for the. The, the second round of playoffs. But yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. I'm sure, you know, uh, if you're tuning into the English stream, then you're probably not in Japan, and, you know, the time zone difference is probably pretty rough. So um, if you're staying up super late, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that we're you're joining us. No, we appreciate that you're yeah. all around enjoying, enjoying this beautiful, beautiful game. I got, me coming from South America, we also appreciate like uh, not just like the efficiency, but also the creativity. And this game, of course, is well known for being one of the games where one of the most expressive fighting games. So that's why I feel <laughs> this game is so beloved in, that's in our really region. That's a really nice. Uh, that's a really nice comment on Third Strike. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> wow. They all right. He said Tominaga right. out. Jeez, yeah, I guess so, man. Wow. Yeah, before before we start the matches, I want to give a couple of huge shout-outs. First to uh, Matsuda Zan, who's like working really hard, always works really hard for this, but today in particular, because it, today is his birthday, right? This is birthday, and there's actually go. a small uh, box. Yeah, I, for, I forgot, that. yeah, it, it was his birthday today. Yeah, so or yesterday, I think. There's a, there's a box like next to the registration to drop presents for him. Yeah, it's you guys awesome. on Twitter, everybody at twi on Twitter, if you type exclamation point, COOP in the chat. It gives you the little blurb, but I linked Matsu's Twitter. Send him a message on Twitter, man. Simple English. You don't need to put it through Google Translate. But here we go. This is the playoff bracket. Yep. Here we go. Cool. This is where stuff gets real, real. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I watched Abu play really well earlier. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely, definitely. I saw, I saw, I saw as well. Um, the, oh, I think I think this is the Ibuki that beat most of the of uh, Obama's an early team actually. I just I, I hate playing against Ibuki. I said this <laughs> earlier on the stream. Oh, press a button, press a button. He uh, or she has a lot of moves that are really hard to punish. You know, it's just really against your normal third strike intuition. Oh yeah, for sure. The characters like this definitely oh. go go against what you're what you're used to. Ooh. Fighters ready. Engage. Pretty solid showing for Abu. Still no, no complete meter for for Young. All right, guys, I'm gonna let y'all sit down and uh, enjoy it. This is the playoff bracket. I'm gonna go cheer my uh, cheer Arlie on. Yep. I'll, be, I'll be back soon.
Don't break anything. I won't. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. I know. Good luck. Anything. Except if we play against you. My boy is gonna delete you, but if we get past the French. Oh, 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 this last one was fine. Maybe I'll break something. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's a pretty hard match, I think, for Ibuki, huh? Alright, jeez. That perfect. Round. Yeah, very, very clean, very clean puts from there. Best round start, let's go. Ooh, Neymar is almost over. Ooh. Wow! Whoa. Oh, Ooh. was that an autocrat? <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Yeah, it looked like it. Ooh, in the corner right went doesn't want to be. Nice barrier on the other side there. Nice card. <laughs> Ooh, the link up this is simple. Okay, okay. Ooh, nice red barrier. Uh, Again? Oh. oh, no, no. Ooh. That's pretty good. That was a really nice red berry. Yeah, I think it would have been a better punch, but good position for what this could be. That ought to do it. Ooh, yeah, missed the last one. No! Ooh, I saw, I saw short there. Oh, come on. Really Ooh. scary. Really scary situation. Ooh, just the tip. You win. Yep, so yep. you think you throw out a short and then he was able to block? I guess I love that feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love when I throw out a move and then it recovers it's fast. Like, it's like, like, oh, it's screwed oh. up. Oh, yes. Safe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't Just know much. About, so, well, I do know a little bit about that. I play Hugh, so sometimes after claps, and it's like, oh my god, like they're going to punish my. Oh, let's see. Hugo clap <laughs> is really weird because the recovery is super short. Yeah, yeah. It's also pretty safe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's also really slow, so it's super easy to fire. Yeah. It. Like, like everyone has it on deck now here. Yeah, that's such a bummer when you're doing the clap. There's like a few. Um, like Ken players that just like uppercut on reaction. Mm, like, no, geez. I see that happen. Yeah, and and that's you know that you could like just Jinrai on reaction, but like that's kind of like sending a message. And I think that <laughs> yeah. at the really high level, sometimes you do the harder punish just to send a message, don't you think? You know, that's you, something Ryan told me before. Yeah, yeah. I think sometimes you do something a little bit more difficult to kind of show your dominance. Yeah. I think you might see things like that tonight. I don't know. I hope so. Ooh. There we go. Oh, this might. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. So this is. Uh, oh, we lost we'll it. This is Makoto Mike versus uh, Arlie. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, we lost. Sucks. So these are both Makoto American versus players. Makoto is so crazy, dude. It happens so both fast. Both playoffs. There we Whoa. go. Let's go. Wow, that was a really good, like, confirm from uh, Mami, a.k.a. Mine, a.k.a. Makoto Mike. Are you ready? Now this is Makoto Mike. Bro. Both of these players are from California. Both people want to make it out of the playoff bracket. Oh, that was a really risky situation. Now, I kind of talked earlier about people that just kind of do their signature move. Arliath's yeah. signature move is the just like not comboed Tosanami. Watch out. Ooh. Ooh, 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 wait, it's wait, still wait. anybody's oh, game. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, okay, the stand short. Okay, I like that. No, I didn't. Makoto Mike looks pretty happy about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. It's a bad break for the uh, two American Makoto players to have to face yeah, off. Yeah, I think but, that's uh, a shame when uh, two people from America. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron. All right, what's up, Aaron? And then you can see Marco in the background. He was uh, commentating earlier. That was my teammate, Abu, in the back, too, as well. I, like, often helping because of one of the few English fluent 3 years players. There's not many, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's good to be back. I, I think, I think actually, we'll say uh, our late signature move is just playing uh, Tandem Denki. <laughs> he, does, he does do that too. He does yeah. do that too. I oh think it's uh, he's trying to get you to throw, and then he does the uh, SA too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Empty jump, SA2. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, we are. Hi, Tiny. More, more, ma more Michael Do action? Or maybe not? Jesus, <laughs> dude. 
That was a clean. Yakun versus Haitani. That's that's a bad break as well. But it's cool to see them both in playoffs. Um, you know. You see this every coop, though, dude. You know, you like. There's not now. enough uh, spots in the top eight. Ooh, yeah. Nice, nice jab there too. To just, yeah, that was really good. It is really fascinating how it's like the Hunger Games, um, getting up to the top eight. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, someone, someone finds the knife or the bow and arrow, you know what I mean? Usually that's the team with three chunks. Yeah, let me remind everyone that here at Coupe, uh, there's a limit of three of the same character per team. Yeah. So there's no, you can't see a five chunk team. For that, there's Pre Coupe, but we didn't have Pre Coupe this year. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty clean. Play, play clean. Oh, oh, here we go. We got an Oro. Our My buddy, favorite. Our is this buddy Thanatos? Ryan pushed the limit. He had three shots on his team. Uh, I mean, you, re you really want to win, so my last vote. Yeah, that's true, right? Yeah. You know, break the rules as much as you can. All right. I wonder, is this Thanatos? I'm, I'm, I wonder. I hope so. <laughs> I wanted to see him play today. I haven't seen him. I love Thanatos. Thanatos yeah. is such a cool player, dude. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. And also, it's like uh, uh, one of the few players six to. He's so rocks. creative with Tango yeah. Stone. He's one. Uh, that's Koro. It's Koro. Oh, Koro is really good too. Yeah, Koro. And very young. Yeah, is a very, very strong player. I played against him in uh, in Mikado a few times. He's very strong. I think. Um, uh, it's it's interesting because uh, Oro has gained a lot of popularity in recent years, but it's because of the set of the new setup with uh, with Yagi Dama, right? Yeah, like the style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, like but uh, now, like, uh, there's still a few like dedicated Tango Stone users. Uh, yeah. See here, uh, I think um, Tango Stone has become uh, Stone is becoming a little bit more popular as well. Like in a way, players like that are introducing new or new combos and techniques into the mix. Mix. But uh, you know, Oro's one of those characters that's super underexplored um, compared to a lot of the cast. <laughs> Just wants to kill time. No. What would you unblockable? No. Super hard to get out of that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Unfortunate. You wait. Wow, <laughs> that's a great little buff. <laughs> We're sitting from match to match like nothing. Yeah, sorry, we can't. It, it's a little bit hard to keep up yeah. with who's playing in each match. It moves really quickly. Yeah, they're I bouncing guess. from cab to cab. Yeah, yeah, and there's a um, uh, there's like some 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 time waiting for for the names to pop up to know who is player. We await your return, warrior. Not necessarily. Like uh, like we were saying here, like you can send your Jonner, your Chunner, your Ken in your team. And like that's the obvious, like like they what well, most people would expect. But you also have to consider that everyone here knows those matchups. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So unless unless you know you have one of the strongest, you might want to consider like sending like a, like a more underused character. Like the characters that are in the mid are like underused but not weak per se. Mm. It's it's really good. Like um, I was having a discussion with some people earlier that I feel uh, a character, for example, uh, that's kind of. And somewhat unexplored in Japan uh, is maybe Ale I would say it's Alex in terms of um, there's characters that just don't adjust well to how people play for the most part in a place. It's, a, it's like um, same as like in street like when you're the strongest player you want to enforce order, but you, when you're the weakest player you want to enforce chaos because adding yeah. chaos adds, brings variance, and the more variance there is, the less value skills has, right? So a character like um, a character like Alex in 3S is like kind of like uh, Laura or or uh, G in Street Fighter Five. It's characters you want to go ham, but Japanese yeah. are not good at just like shutting down the brain and going ham. So when uh, that's why they, they value him so low here. But I feel overseas he is valued a lot more because people overseas are more capable of uh, doing that with the character. Yeah, that's a good point. I love that quote. The Lower uh, ranked characters want to enforce chaos. You know, that yeah. makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, and I think 
that plays in Alex's strengths is, you know, he actually has some kind of like weirdly good moves. Um, he's, he's not good at like, playing ground game but like his standing I mean, forward is kind of good at it i mean i uh, i won rounds out of like high level 3s players just on stomps just on 50 50 with stomps yeah well yeah if you want to get into just the chaotic play he's got the stomps he has his command throw um you know ddt kind of a weird move ddt is a really weird move um that gets really big damage off of just like the ex slash uh, like, uh, like even with that, like for example, there's there's a meme here with uh, hyper bomb. That's like they say he says you can't escape. Escapes ninety percent, ninety percent of the time. <laughs> yeah. But I think like they're 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 even for that they're too like orderly in terms of how they use it. You mean in Japan? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. I remember though year I, I one of my like little curiosities in Third Strike is there's weird matchups where supers that are normally seem like they suck are chosen oh yeah no like i i always love, it, love exploring possibilities like that's one of the things that allow me to thrive in marvel 3 because you, uh, even there i play like uh, uh like very in their use characters and like i brought i brought them out where no one thought like they could do stuff right yeah and and i, I try to do that in order games because that's one of my strengths as a player right i play hugo oh, here yeah. That, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. main character and in some matchups i actually like playing uh megaton press it's really good. It's like um, against against twins and Necro in particular, I like playing uh, Megaton Press. Like it's really it's better than people way better than people could give it credit for. Against Dive Kicks, for example. Oh yeah. geez, we have uh, Makoto Mike here for our buddies from America and France. Let's see Tech how this Noir. goes. Um, you know, some of the members from Tech Noir, uh, the last Cool Operation Cup 2019, they made it to the top eight. Aaron, Ryan, um, Dakota Mike himself, uh, who's playing right now. Uh, oh, ooh, that looks like gotten, it could have uh, hit, but I don't know. He's gotten very Mike close to top legend. eight before. Yeah. But uh, I think this is a hard match. Um, for Ibuki here, um, Makoto versus Ibuki. There's too much damage on the table. Makoto is so good against everybody. That's true. I don't know. If I wasn't um, in the know, I would think she's the best character in the game. Uh, but clearly not. I mean, we could even make a case for that in some sort. In you some could, sort of yeah. We're, we're, if we're talking about mid-level, for sure, she's like the best character. I think I think I think the potential is so good, but like oh, as opposed to the like Chan Jung Ken, you need to be a special kind of character. Uh, I mean, a special kind of player to play Makoto effectively. Yeah, I agree. Interesting cross up. Oh yeah. wow! That's a big great damage punish! Right there. Great punish! Ibuki has no bar. Makoto has no bar, but she kills it so fast. Makoto Mike has been a big fan of the photo sheet so far. Oh. Now, I'm going with oh, one super big. Oh, that's great, big. Karakasa. This mix up is Oh, that's be big. Key. That's it. Nope. No, that's not it. One hit. Oh, oh, my God. That's it. That's it. That's a big command throw right there. That's amazing. Oh, wow, my God. Let's go, Mike. <laughs> Uh, well, sorry, a little biased commentary here. No, but no, good friend. that's fine. That's fine here. But, <laughs> and also, but also, like I've seen, I've seen people drop the link, like drop the link after Karaksa. Yeah. In these kind of instances. Yeah. So when it's, you're, it's when you're sweating, yeah, it's, it's hard. It's never over till it's over. Yeah. It can be a little scary, and it's pretty, it's pretty tight. I mean, considering all things. Mm -hmm. That was pretty tight, eh, Louis? Anyway, yeah, sorry to cut you off. Megaton Press is, um, I think, really good against certain characters. I think it's pretty good against Oro. You know, um, Oro's... Anyone really that really likes good. to jump a lot and yeah. like, has weird, weird, like, weird arts. Maybe a case even for Ibuki. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't play enough. Like, I don't have one to play enough, so I can't... You, you originally brought up um, Hyper Bomb. Yeah, I yeah. remember years ago, I saw Alex players using Hyper Bomb against Necro. Because they would red parry the hook, um, the hook, and it had 
good enough startup to, or no, it's I think it's the super priority or something. I don't know the mechanics exactly. It could be if they cancel, if they cancel into if both cancel into super, the hyper bomb will gr will grab that's them. That's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah Interesting. Yeah, yeah, I can see that being pretty good. I yeah, also uh, like um, like especially against uh, like especially over here. Like there's kind of like a further like mental game. Like for example, playing Hugo and having someone in the corner if they if they are like parrying your like if you're playing gigas for example and they're and they're good at parrying you can actually you can pay them to parry your clap and just you just super cancel it into yeah, gigas. Yeah, yeah. yeah 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 that's a pretty big common thing here at least in yeah, Japan. Yeah, yeah. it's dope another it's weird sweet. another weird super kind of on the that topic is um i've saw i've seen roshi hikari play uh sa1 uh yang versus elena and i never got a good answer on why but i think it's because he can punish from further distance than um, with just EX slash. Oh or yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. That's the only time I've ever seen him play that super, but he plays it consistently. Yeah, it's it's a really interesting topic. You know, we don't have much time to tread on that ground, but the, yeah. the weird super Bro. choices. If you watch Third Strike a lot, you'll see it once in a while. Here we go, got mommy again. Look at him like. Versus another Makoto. Who's the song? It's cool. I don't, I nice can't see very well, yeah. Interesting. Okay, in the corner, both with SA1. Yeah. I think Mike is very good in the Makoto mirror. I think he is too. That was very smart. No! Nice. Ooh. Why, why did you do that? I wow, understand. my God. His speed. He loves the reaction. Oroshi, dude. He loves the Oroshi. It's I don't understand right. why he goes for that no. move so much. It's the emotional damage. Yeah, it I is emotional so damage. <laughs> That's a good point. It's one of those things. You got to go for the little things like, to hit the big like, things. Like, oh. Try to catch the jump. Like Fukuyagi, anyone can do it, but like Oroshi is like, you got your head, your head smack. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. All right, still in there. Okay. Yeah, that jump medium kick. Wow, such an annoying move. Final round, go. Okay, nice drop. Nice Karakusa. Ooh, he didn't want to gauge. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I agree with that. Okay. Uh, super. I agree with. For sure. Very close to stun. Very close to death as well. Yep. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think stun is too much of a factor anyway. Like with yeah, how close to death. <laughs> Not at this point. Okay. Uh, that could have been. Punish. That could have been. That could have been great. Watch out for a bar here. Black Makoto. Wow, that was a good throw. Yes. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was interesting. Good exchange. <laughs> I love Aaron's happy face. He's just. Aaron is cheesing right now. Loving it, dude. Makoto Mike, dude. Makoto Mike. How many more it's matches do they got to play dude, to get top eight? MVP. Or is it top 16 after playoffs? Is it top 16? Or top eight? I think they have uh, to play against like the, the team the team that lost. That, that's kind of from like the. The winner's playoff? Okay. Yeah, everybody send your energy to Makoto Mike, like the Spirit Bomb. Yeah, Spirit Bomb. Send your energy. <laughs> Genki Dama. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, really interesting to see um, Makoto Mike doing so well. I mm -hmm. mean, For not sure. that he's not a great player, but it just uh, it's nice to see. Definitely <laughs> having the run of his life for sure. Yeah, he is. He's he's killing it right now. Well, he was uh, top eight in Evo years ago. Mm -hmm. Didn't he win? I think he won. No, he didn't win. He didn't win. Okay. I mean, but like, if we're going for that, like, who here isn't like a top Evo placer yeah. or top he would previous be the only one. previous he would be the uh, only Corporation one. Cup? All right, here we go, dude. Look at all Mike versus Yaku. This is Yaku. This is a, a wild match right now. This is going to be rewatched by a lot of us American players, dude. Yeah. But this is so hard. Yakun is one of the best. 
almost perfect game player. Yeah. Dangerous. Unstoppable. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, there you can yeah. see. That was basically a perfect round. No tap. Fighting Engage. Mommy got a little flustered. Oh, that was kind of tricky. It was a good try. Yeah. You know, I, I really like that attempt. Gotta watch out for the danger. The win is there. Ooh, <laughs> seen that one before. She gets the perfect yeah. reaction to everything, man. Oh, oh, oh wait, that was good. Saturday strength. Oh, okay. Went to get there for some. Oh. Okay. Unfortunate. Super safe. Unfortunate, but he had a great run. Amazing. Very well planned by Yaku. Yeah. Uh, that almost looked like the computer playing. You know, <laughs> just like uh, everything he Chat did. Chat GPT. Street Fighter 6 <laughs> CPU level 8. <laughs> yeah. Everything he did was the exact perfect reaction. Yeah, you know I, mean, I mean, he's an amazing player, man. Um, I would encourage anybody to go back and watch that. I don't, I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know if you, if you are even interested in Street Fighter Six. I, I haven't played it at all. Like, but, but um, like, elaborate. There's a, there, there's an open beta, right? Like that, that has two characters, and you can play against, like, versus or against the CPU. And if you set CPU at level eight, the CPU is, per is a perfect player. Does like the optimal combos and all this stuff. Yeah. And like for example, there's a there was a like close event where like uh, media and influencers got to play early like uh, almost complete build of the game, but they won't allow them to play against the CPU on level eight, so they, they won't know what like the optimal stuff of the characters that people haven't seen look like. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I saw Daigo losing to the level eight CPU um, in Street Fighter Six. Yeah, it looks insane. <laughs> That's a pretty impressive little uh, bracket there. Um, Mike made it to the end, basically. Top two. He tried his best, yeah. man. Uh, Unfortunate, but pretty amazing. Yeah, I think average age for Coop is probably 35. We were talking about yeah. that, like uh, between 35, 40. How old are you guys, if you don't mind me, don't mind me asking? Uh, I'm 37. Same. Same. Yeah. Okay, so we're all about the same age. Yeah. But... Um, like we said earlier, um, the you spirit know, remains young. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that too. But um, you know, uh, just the the game center where me and Dusty usually play Cube and Koenji. Mm -hmm. um, the there's three players that come to mind: Yoko, you talked about, um, Katamaru, and Tira. They're all like early twenties. Early twenties. Yeah, 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 yeah. Twenty-five or younger. I, I, I think Araki himself is also early twenties. Um, You're like. A little bit older. No, yeah. Like, no, no more than 25 for sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, all of them around that age. So we're not all, you know, on our way to the <laughs> retirement home. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> some of us are pretty close. Yeah. I mean, um, Arcade Ghost has a point there. Like, there's, it's a wide range of ages now. The genre has been around for a while. Yeah. But at the same time, I feel uh, fighting games, like, the value of entertainment that fighting games bring does not match the, vo the values of entertainment for like the current younger generation. What What's entertainment for them is not what they can obtain for fighting games. So for the most part, it's like really difficult to onboard new younger people to, uh, to fighting games. Yeah, so yeah, there's a lot. That's why we're, we're really appreciative of like younger people yeah. still like deciding to pick up a game, especially a game such as, such as Third Strike, right? Like where you, anyone like in, in a normal situation would say, what will I even bother? Like, these guys have been playing for 20, 25 years. Yeah. Like, why even? Like, but there's people doing that, and, and that's why I have so much respect for them. I have a funny anecdote. Um, there was a guy in the chat that was linking a YouTube video earlier. Mm. Um, some guy did a video about Koenji Cube and the people that played Third Strike there. And our buddy, English or Japanese? Uh, it was a mix. Okay. It, it was done... It, it was actually sponsored by the um, city, right? Suginami yeah. uh, oh, City, okay. um, to you know promote like local culture. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, the y player I mentioned, Tira, was interviewed, and his th initial description of Third Strike was the game that was by the toilet. <laughs> <In Q. laughs> That's really funny. Wow. Yeah, but you know he. 
he got he thought it was cool and now that's his main game so that's pretty tight you know it went yeah. from the game that was next to the toilet until to his favorite game you know it's kind of interesting that you know we have this those weekly free plays and tournaments i think a lot of people come in and out of cube and see just the kind of culture we have um when they when we play and uh they get kind of excited for the game or something I'm 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 wondering if that's why T Rust started playing. You know? I hope so. Wow, that's a cool view, dude. Yeah, it's amazing. As you can see, like we are the place to be here at DreamHack for sure. Yeah. You know, it's also cool that they have all these other games over here that you can play. Um, I watched uh, Ryan earlier struggle <laughs> in um, Beat Mania. Which, uh, you know, he might win in third strike, but he's not winning in that. Yeah, yeah. there's a, there's an arcade free play section, right? Before, like, yeah. This is, like, part of, like, a larger arcade section, but we take, like, 75% of the arcade space for real. And yeah. Your 25 is, like, just some free play arcade games, and they have, like, uh, mostly, like, um, like um, rhythm games and, like, uh, car, like uh, vehicle games. They have uh, yeah. some Daytona. See, it, it really arc. makes me miss... Um, I think a lot of people have their game that they're really good at, but I miss the old arcade rats, dude. The people that like, they just, they only played games in the arcade. There's a guy from Northern California, uh, Amphi. He is good at like third strike and yo. <laughs> the Ikibukuro players are taking a picture. Oh, um, I uh -oh. <laughs> the guy I was talking about, he's good at third strike, he's good at Tekken, he's good at rhythm games, you know, like the old yeah. arcade rats. That the guy that has the high score. <laughs> just like good at like every game, you know, <laughs> they're still laughing at me, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, it's distracting right now. <laughs> guys are funny, man. Yeah, the EK Bugaro crew is a, a great set of guys. Um, yeah. They come around, uh, good friends. They don't really remember me, but they remember John, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, um, you talked about it a little bit earlier, you know, like um, I, it's always been my experience here. People are super welcoming in the game centers. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, for them, it's like more people to more people to share the love of the game we love. It's all great. It's the best. Yeah. That's what matters to us. But Cube is my favorite place. <laughs> and uh, Ikibukuro uh, Mikado. Yeah. And obviously Game Newton. <laughs> yeah, of course Game Newton. You Game know. Newton is far from my house, so uh, I, I, I wish I could go there often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, big shout outs to Matsuda and yeah, yeah. Uh, the entire Game Newton crew and everybody who's working on this event. Um, it's amazing that they brought it back. I'm so happy. I'm sure, we all are. Um, like I said to everybody earlier, um, when we were outside, I said, "Oh, I almost cried when I saw the <laughs> the uh, the intro video. It was, it's so amazing after you know three years or four years." Well, I'm really looking um, forward to. Yeah. Usually, before top eight, they have another video too. Oh yeah, that's gonna and be that's, great. That's that's gonna be you know feels, dude. Yeah, it's scary. <laughs> All right, we're getting the over the camera shot. Uh -oh. uh, I don't know. Maybe this is just the He Man. Oh, with the lead in Amir. Okay. Oh, Amir, dude. How's it going, Amir? I miss you, dude. Do some damage at um, Jazzy, man. Yeah. I saw you beat Yee's ass. Ooh. I, I watched some of the replays from the qualifier, and uh, maybe it was LA. That was sick, bro. Amir, one of the historically strongest Trump players in America. Yeah, yeah, and for sure. You know, we say here it was really welcoming, like family for family fun arcade in LA was totally not, <laughs> you know. But Amir was the exception. He was always like such a nice guy, super approachable. I love you, Amir, dude. Miss you, buddy. I, I, I'll probably get to see a bunch of the action uh, a couple months from now. I'm probably gonna be in. Uh, it's not. I'm not completely sure, but I'm probably gonna be in Sokol like around July, oh, so great, I might be dude. able to make it to 37 Reload. So, awesome, dude. So definitely looking forward to see also some 3DS action over there for sure. 
Head over the valley, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Tedeschi, the valley, San Fernando Valley is like mythical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not a really interesting place. <laughs> But yeah, what's up to Mike Watson for hosting the um, Moment 37 uh, tournament? That's cool, bro. Miss you, Watson. Dan, I love Watson. Great guy. A real one. Yeah, FFA was kind of a scary place. <laughs> uh, Marvel's players scared me sometimes. Marvel 2 players for sure. We're like Marvel 3 players are we're like <laughs> the nicest bunch. <laughs> we're, we're too soft. I mean, there's been some drama. I think there was like, I don't, I don't want to talk about it, but <laughs> like violence <laughs> in the past. Marvel 2? I think Marvel 2, yeah. Marvel 3, no. no. I've never heard of anything like that. Uh, you know, that's ancient history, though, uh, Marvel 2. I mean, Amir, if you come yeah. to Japan, hit me up and say what's up to Tom for me, too. <laughs> yeah, man, I miss everybody in Southern California. I. I haven't been back to California since before Corona, sadly. Yeah, it is what it is. Corona sucks. What are you going to do? Yep. <laughs> Our lucky won't manage to pull through for the most part. Well, Pretty well, thankful about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm... The, this edition of Coop was canceled twice. Yeah. You know, that really sucks. It was supposed to be in May 20. 20 22. and then I think it was rescheduled to this was gonna be an Evo Japan or something and then that got canceled yeah Terrible. so I don't know I mean I I felt like the even this one is American itself yeah, yeah it really I, is um, I, I've been wondering you know did people feel like Coop was actually gonna come back for sure you know I I was not exactly sure um, this there's not a there can't be a lot of money in third strike in 2023. No, so, you know, we are so thankful to all of the game centers that still have third strike. We're so thankful to Matsuda um, that this kind of event still exists is a minor miracle. Absolutely, um, yeah. Because I think, of, you know, from the time that I started, there used to be third strike at Evo. That's gone. There used to be SBO. Uh, that is defunct. Uh, you know, Jazzy Circuit started recently, but Coop has been going, God, probably since like 2000 or 2001. I mean, this is the 18th edition, so like we take out the frequent run, it's probably around 2000. Gives us like around 2002 or three. Yeah. If considering, like thinking it was on every year before that. Tony, it's me, bro. JP. ¿Qué onda salieron muax para vos? Well, yeah, huge, huge shout out to my friends, buddies that yeah, are watching. Yeah, you got any shout outs, dude? Uh, yeah, go for it, bro. Shout outs to like the homies, the friends. You know, you know who you are. Also, big shout outs to the to the Chile to the Chilean third strike community or like super active bunch, super dope, dope, motivated. Uh, like put a ton of effort. Uh, been around for. Shish, uh, I start like when I started community leaders. We're three, like we're three as heads, and that, that was like back in 2004. And like now, 20 like 20 years down the road, the the game's still there. There's still a lot of people playing. There's uh, there's like people actively playing at events. Like on, whenever we have like the yearly major, it's one of the high, the games with the highest number of entrants. Players are like active there, like they are also super supportive of, of each other in the community. So yeah, huge shout out to them, to them and I like, uh, I'm really respectable that, yeah. that they even, and not just that, they're also like always trying to bring new people, younger people as well. So it's it's not just that, it's not just like um, the effort and the skill level they, they, they that they're putting, but also like trying to do their best as a community because yeah. at the end of at the end of fall you you have to be a community you have to, that sense of community is what brings us all together um yeah you know i i should also say you know a, a couple of things um you, the, this event is buoyed up by all the things that happen weekly um Specifically, in me and Dusty's case, like I, I really want to say a big thank you to Araki. Uh, he is 
really humble guy, and he might not even appreciate this, but <laughs> he runs our Friday tournaments in Koenji. You know, like, um, there's a lot of people out there that are streaming every week. Um, wherever they are, they're keeping third strike in the awareness. That's awesome, dude. I know I know it's his stream where you where you yep. run it, but is he is he like an art player, like community leader or the owner of the place? Uh, he's no, he just plays. Player. Okay, he just plays. He's he gets player. no you know, yeah, monetary cool. benefit out of it. Mr. Red Viper. Ah, uh, she is strong. Yeah. She is strong. I got the picture. And Nick I don't know him. We're on the uh, we're on the second playoff where the uh, the winners of the of the bracket play the uh, the winners of the first block bracket uh, play each other for top eight, and we have to be the winner of the first playoff. Nice stand strong, super. Yeah. But uh, Nick Bachi is a member of Ikebukuro team, so I gotta cheer for him. I love the name. <laughs> I love, I love the name for sure. He gave it to back at it. Cyclone. Cyclone. Nice ice there. Okay, uh, here comes Obama. He's back. Welcome back. What's everybody talking about? What we got here? We got the uh, Ken Ken match going on. Uh, the winners of the second uh, playoff bracket. Oh, they already started playoff beat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're getting there, man. They, what, yeah. 30, 40 minutes, we're going to be in top eight? I believe so. Yeah, thanks to everybody on, uh, overseas that's been staying up all night with us. If you're in North America, you guys in Europe, I don't know what time schedule y'all are on. But uh, thanks for hanging out with us, man. This is, uh, is going to be something special, I think. This top eight, the same time, going to be pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she is a pretty old school player. He's really good. Playoff B, also 1v1. If it's playoffs, that means it's 1v1. Each team nominates a player, you go up, one and done. That's it. it. Mm -hmm. It's not just for losers, like even even on the winner side they, they have to do that. What? We've been talking about this all day. I like this rapid fire match system. I like this. I like it. When too. you got multiple wow. multiple cabs on the capture like that. No downtime. Jump, jump, jump. It's pretty cool. Oh, uh, that's cool. Everybody check in where you're from in the chat, dude. I'd like to see where everybody's watching. Yeah, yeah what yeah. time is it where y'all are? What time is it? Where's everybody checking in from? Tap in. <laughs> awesome, 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 dude. That's just so fast. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Nice. I know back home at least it's uh, same time as... Uh, U.S. East Coast currently. So Yo, shout out to anybody in uh, New behind, Zealand, probably. dude. Um, I, I lived in Auckland for a year. That's dope, dude. Yep, yep. I was uh, I was talking to somebody about this earlier, but I think it's really interesting that the playoff bracket exists um, because you know you typically a losers bracket is like the whole normal event, but it's almost like its own separate thing for crew. Go for it. Um, it's really interesting. One v one. There's a, there's a spice to it. We've been talking about it all yeah, day. Yeah, 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 there's, a, there's a certain uh, spice to it. A different kind of pressure to it. Yeah. Low sure. parry, disengage. Who is this? Uh, not sure. Pink Mac. That's the only bad thing about the playoff round is it's too fast. Yeah. Like, they're trying to get player names and everything. You get, it's difficult to tell who's who. This is probably this is off on one of the side stages, too, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, oh, here's Tominaga. Yeah, this is the Koenji White Tiger team. Uh, White Tiger yeah. Power Ranger! <laughs> well, I, I we were just to, talking about that earlier. <laughs> I gotta cheer for Koenji, obviously. Of course. Yeah, Koenji. Oh, that's that. Hurt. Third straight capital. <gasps> yeah, everybody oh. saying that. Hey, if you play Koenji, you you build different, man. You gotta. Get, <laughs> that place is legit a fucking dungeon, man. <laughs> it is a you dungeon. You legit going <laughs> downstairs into the dungeon. There's chains on the walls and shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little different down there, man. It's fun, though. <laughs> Every week, every Friday, come yeah, on through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ever find yourself in Tokyo every Friday, we have a... Bro, how is Tominaga still in this event? I, th I thought I watched this team lose, like, twice. I thought I saw... I, I, I thought I saw that, too, but... Um, it makes sense. He didn't play all bragging. He played Ethan the Gulag, bro. <laughs> Make your way out. <laughs> trying to choke your way out. Okay. Oh, no, that's nasty. That, yeah, EX. Okay, this can, be, this can be a chance. Start to a little bit. 
Chun's almost done, but uh, one hit, dead. Yeah, see how Hiyama plays this. Loaded two bars. Mac only half a bar to her name right now. With advantage, though, but... See, putting out a lot more crotch forwards, crotch shorts, trying to interrupt her on the ground. Finds the low forward, confirms super. Mix, mix, mix. Man was just holding a back. All right, cool. People always say, like, the Wong factor, but I think there's any person in Japan that has that kind of thing is uh, Tominaga. Yeah. <laughs> just like that, right? That's not fair, though, because, like, Weird. Makoto forces you to play like an idiot. That's too. true. Like, that, that, but, like, uh, he's yeah. really good. He, I, like, give the credit where it's due. He definitely <laughs> forces you to be an idiot, but she also forces you to be an idiot. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Hard agree. But uh, I think it's just, like, I think it's because he plays SA2, and can, can, can he's, like, we, the only person who kills people. Can, we we got to notice the Tominaga drip, dude. Yeah, every, he's always got a drip. Every coup, dude, he's got a fit that is uniquely dope. He dude. all Every time I look at him... He looks like he be saying some wild shit to them girls on Bumble. You know, like, so. he probably, like, he looks like the type of dude who's on Bumble, constantly hollering at Mills. That's why I respect him. <laughs> oh, Mills only. Mills only on Bumble. <laughs> I think someone asked him before, and he's, like, really into the 70s and 80s, like, hip-hop, and that's where he He looks like he stops at Marshalls in America. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The Oh, he, just randomly, he pulls up third maniacs in a FUBU jersey. I'm like, I, 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 I didn't even know they sold that <laughs> out here. That's but exactly right. the kind of style that he rocks. And I think he, you know, I think it's cool because nobody rocks that anymore. <laughs> 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 but in Japan, I think it's awesome. And I'm not trying to hate or anything, I swear. <laughs> like, as a parenthesis, it's still it's about something. Tominaga. I wanted to mention that I saw him playing in a, in a Hokuto exhibition uh, a few uh, weeks ago hi. as well. And of course, playing. Uh, he was playing Toki, so he's basically playing the same game. Can we get? You think we get Tommy Naga on the Fresh and Fit podcast? <laughs> you think we can make that happen? Probably. <laughs> I don't know if he speaks. I mean, his English is pretty. We good, can get that. We get interpretation. It's fine. <laughs> All right, who do we have right now? Uh, I don't know, but yeah, I, wish it, I wish the names came up. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, no, it's, it's the nature of the beast when you go this yeah. fast. By the time the guy gets to the stream station to tell them the names, it's, funny. it's already last round and everything. Like, when we're playing, running around. Now. He's like, what's your name? Who's playing? Who's first? Who's, who, oh my god. Hirai, oh, Hirai's old school Oh, player. this is the strong zero, too. This is Evan. Evan, Evan. Strong zero, love it. What, wait, wait, what was the name? Wife's mood gauges consultation count. Oh, I, I think these sold people that actually like had kind of like a tight scale to make it here. So like, uh, they, they were like, a. I know it's short notice, but hey, hey, honey, can I, can I take the weekend off? This is a really strong team, by the way. I think this was a, a few people's picks. I think that like make top eight at least. The the blue team. Yeah, why yeah, yeah. oh, consultations? Okay. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah, I saw the team earlier, and it looked like a pretty strong. Interesting. Hirai they put really Hirai, Hirai up uh, on that roster. Well, you know, we sometimes were talking it's about, it's about who feel, who's feeling good, who's playing best that day. Yeah, uh, one of the things is like you know the most explosive player character you want to put into your playoff because. You just have a higher chance of making it through, maybe. Um, we were talking about it earlier, like the characters that are a little bit underrated, for example, like uh, uh, Urian or uh, Goki, I think are really strong choices for a playoff bracket because they have a higher chance of just winning by thievery. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, like, in, there's some situation, like, if he gets his three bars and he gets a throw in the goal, like, you know, like, you, that could be it. Yeah, it's over, know? right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, Ken, Ken, Ken can kind of do that kind of stuff too, you know. But uh, everyone knows how to play against Ken. Yeah, but you know, some car some players like Deshi Ken and uh, I mean, know, if you if others, you're if you're like if you're like gold level you know? Ken, if you're like yeah. gold no, no, level Ken. I think yeah. the idea is in the the playoffs is you want sometimes a matchup that not everybody is very familiar with. Yeah, it's, it's not it's only not that. necessarily yeah. the player's play style, but. Everybody knows how to play against Cat very well. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's interesting. sometimes you'll see people put 12 players in the playoffs. Yeah. I've seen it before. Uh, and it's not, to me, it's not a crazy idea at all. It's not that weird, man. First the one, anything yeah. can happen, and then, like, maybe that person's playing on that day. You know, maybe they're just in a, in a really good mood. Maybe everything's sure, just hitting. Yeah. That's one of the I, most. I yeah. would be terrified if I had. Yeah, I'm, one yeah. Think about that on the other side. If you sit down on the cabinet, it's a one v one situation like this. All that pressure, and then all the the other dude 12? is playing fucking twelve. You're like, you're like, oh, uh -oh. Do, do they <laughs> yeah. do they know something I don't? You know, like, you know, yeah, 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 no, absolutely. 
I'm sure that anyone who sat down against Yama or something that's in that match or in a playoff match is like, uh, you know, sometimes screaming. I, Yama comes to quench a cube, and oh, I, yeah. I don't remember the last time I beat him, dude. He's, He's so a very, very good. strong player. You know, he plays 12 perfectly, yeah. which, you know, like 12 is not a good character, but I don't know how to beat him. Hey, is it dead naming if I call you Farai? I know you as Farai. <laughs> Either one is okay. There's yeah. people in the chat are saying that. You know, I. I don't want a dead name. Farai is kind of a. Fear God? That's his Koenji name. Farai is kind of a weird. It's a difficult name to put in uh, Katsukana, so JP uh. is easier here. <laughs> What's the lore with the mask? JP. <laughs> oh, I just left pro wrestling. No, dude. All right. Yeah, hey, but, sometimes that's the best lore. There is no lore. Yeah, my girlfriend. I'm just a fan. My girlfriend's favorite wrestler is the second Tiger Mask. So this is, you know, my tribute to Tiger Mask. Tiger Mask. Hell yeah, Tiger Mask. Yeah, what's up, Luca? Thanks for tuning in, bro. I miss you. Kiss you, Bussin. <laughs> versus Jimbo Char Joe Tardo. This is Tammy versus Toby Nog. Toby Nog is still. Yeah, Toby Nog is yeah, still. I mean, if this this makes sense it. though. You play off rounds. I feel like he's that's like, exactly. such an X Factor pick, right? He just. You know, it's so he's so dangerous. Like this, this reminds me a lot of like on like some the few like uh, early Marvel three team tournaments that I, I, I got to play. Even like even though I was one of the stronger players, they will put me on, on like on front because like of how explosive. Yeah. Uh, my, like <laughs> the team I'm placing is the like, same here basically. It's this like, character once she gets the bar, you know, like. Shit happens. <laughs> shit, shit, just happen. <laughs> shit happens, you just lose. One command throw, mid-screen, you're dead. I mean, Tobinaga, you know, strongest, probably Makoto on the planet, and also the most dangerous with SA. That was a really too. good dash under. Yeah, that was sick. Dude. Yeah. That was... I, the, the that mark, sounds like a lame thing to, like, be respectful of, no, but... No, 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 dude, I totally agree. Uh, I think the mark of a really good Makoto player beyond max punishes is great movement. Yeah. Because yeah. movement is really hard with Makoto. She has a really slow walk, so timing your dashes is really hard. So I think you'll notice that Mora, Tominaga, they, they get the dash unders at the exact perfect time. Interesting. Yeah, you, you need to know your position. It's also a really long dash, uh -oh. so you can... Uh, that's yeah. that a fast-paced round, too. A little teabag at the end. I don't, I don't know about that. Two bars locked and loaded at this point on both sides, really. Yeah, this is... Yeah, <laughs> Whoever gets that touch. Yeah, if Makoto grabs and gets a good um, TOD setup, uh, there's nothing Shenley can do. He tried doing something there. But it's very Sorry. difficult. Good anti air. Okay. PX SPK push to the wall. Wow, that shit will hit deep. Mix, mix. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, okay. Let it rip. I mean, hit it with a medium kick. Yeah, just like that. Tell me Naga's out. Tell me Naga's out. Guys I, hate I will right bet. now. I'm going to bet Jap JP commentary, like Japanese commentary right now is the nightmare is over. <laughs> yeah, probably. To be honest, I, you know, I've heard a lot of people um, don't like SA2 in Japan. Um, and same with... Um, you mean Tosanami. Yeah, Tosanami, yeah. And also um, SA3 with um, Ryu. Because Fry, walk very us, hard. Walk us what's happening through your head right now. You put your head down. You you looked at, you looked uh you looked depressed. Like what happened? What what happened there? <laughs> when that round ended, what what was going through your head? Oh God. Um, <laughs> you know, like I even mixed some emotions to see uh, Tominaga lose. Um, like uh, I'm not a fan of Chun Li. You know, uh, to all the stream monsters, I've, I'm. You know, I'm marking out like you guys. I, I, I don't really like Chun Li. I want to see her lose, but you can bend here. This is a safe space. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> you know, I, uh, Tominaga is like such a monster, dude. Like, yeah. if if you've ever played him before, it's really a different experience. Um, anybody that you've played, uh, even like other Makotos in Japan, it's not really the same. It feels impossible. You could spend, you know, fifty bucks, and you're. What not does that mean, though? Why? Uh, you know that. I, I don't think I can put it in a It's word. a mental pressure or something like that? It's just like, is it, is it the way he moves? You feel a, a sense of weight behind certain actions that maybe for other people... He, he has a metagame that nobody else has. It's that, like, perfect 100% stun that he can nail against anybody. 
and that's the only thing you're afraid of because he only needs to get one thing, you know? It's but then, but then when you know your player has that, like, such, like, so down, lo like, locked down, then there's other values that start, like, uh, becoming uh, important as well. It's not just, it's not just the post, like, like, the, the, the thing, the move, like, the sequence in itself, but also the possibility of it. And then you start playing around it, too. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Yeah, he, he controls that, you. That's Tominaga's metagame, and I don't think anybody else really has it because he has that team technique perfected better than anybody else. Mm. Yep. Uh, we saw Yakun earlier uh, take out Mami. Um, here he is back again. Uh, fighting against Team Strong Zero. I wish I had my glasses on. I can't read that. But... Oh, what a draw. Uh, um, Team Strong Zero. This was another strong pick. Good name, though. Yeah. yeah that's that's <laughs> nice. a really cool team name. <laughs> nice overhead. Nine percent. You know, you know, dude. You know, yeah. you know. But bring back the third love. I like that too. Ooh, that's super damaging. Also rare to see um, so far someone take a round like that. Um, I guess Yaku. Okay. This is a really bad situation. I know I won. Okay. Yaku, dude. I mean, he's... Look at him cheesing. Look at, like... As much clean, as Tominaga clean, clean. is the perfect Makoto player, yeah. Yaku is the perfect unit. He's evil. Warrior. Evil incarnate, man. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. I feel like we need pens, or they need pens. Yeah, I I want like something to write on <laughs> right now, you know. Just make, make like you're doing notes, like yeah, you gotta really make important, notes. <laughs> yeah. all that kind of stuff. I can't read kanji well enough to understand <laughs> these things. <laughs> I'm sure Mario was here. I respect the dictatorship. I like it. Yeah, so we're not hitting the tail end of, I think, the playoffs. It's yep. 537, so I think we're on we're on pace to be hit, hitting top eight relatively soon. Yeah. But uh, I'm really glad Farai and, uh, and and Dusty were able to be here, and, uh, and Kane, obviously, too. Yeah. Everybody's been able to. It, it's re it was really important to me that people that played in the event – represented like this and we'll talk about about it a little bit later but uh i'm really happy you guys came out again this year but also happy you guys uh be able to sh share some of your time here with us be able to share the experience with people at home who are watching oh sure uh, dude uh, it's it's a different it's a different vibe than the than the whatever pro tour event or something like that yeah. right it's uh it's it's a different kind of feeling absolutely well i got knocked out at Maybe like 11.30, so... Hey, I'm on your team, too. They don't need to know that, man. They don't need to know that. Let's, well, let's keep it positive. I was just going to say, this gives me something to do besides, you know, <laughs> drink beers in front of the convenience store. I mean, so. you can still do that. You can still do that. We're I'm going to later, you know. So. You can do it right now, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to. I might even soon. be ahead of you on yeah, that. <laughs> we'll see, dude. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I, I uh, for me, I, I love to, I mean, I'm a bit of a narcissist, but I feel like I'm contributing to Coop. <laughs> you know, because um, there's a lot of people like we love the sound of Japanese commentary, but we don't understand it. So it's <laughs> nice to hear um, English commentary, too. Um, I thought it was awesome that Marco and Moon B did commentary earlier. Um, I everybody that contributes English commentary or who has contributed English commentary to Coop in the past years, I think is awesome. Um, everybody has a little bit different insight. Um, I learned something different from everybody that I've listened to do listen to doing commentary or I've done commentary with so it's really cool I hope that you guys are enjoying you know we're trying our best here to add something to this event obviously the players that are playing the match are the prime attraction but you know us streaming it bringing it to you um, we're you know really trying to you know 
help make this event something really international. So uh, if you guys are appreciating it, please share the Twitch stream. Send it to your aunt. Send it to your cousin, dude. <laughs> Come out um, next year, dude. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, bro, put some, you know, put a little bit of money aside every month. Take that trip next year. Next time uh, they're able to have this event, you know, knock on wood. When it comes yeah. time for volume 19, you don't have to be sitting at home watching. You can come out and play, bro. And it doesn't matter what level you're at. And if you're on Fight K and you're ranked C, you're, nobody gives a <laughs> shit, man. Like, exactly. bro, you got four friends, bro. Y'all can come out to Japan and come play. Don't this is an either. event that is uh, is a different kind of vibe, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. me and Dusty will let you buy us beers. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah. Like, my cool side, I would like to. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, my side, I would like to also thank uh, Obama for like putting all this up and like the people that allowed this to to happen and giving us the opportunity to um, be, not just be here city but also express us, uh, ourselves like more freely. It's not just like commentating but also sharing about our, our perspective, our experiences, and like having this opportunity to share it with uh, like in, even in the case of us like coming from like such different. Uh, trains of life and be able to share a lot for the game here and talk about it uh, is something I really appreciate. So at the end of the day, that's what it is, man. It's all love anyway, right? We all here because we like the game or fuck with it in some way, shape, or yeah. form. Doesn't really matter. That other stuff, uh, you know, like all that dumb shit, man. Leave that shit at home. Leave that shit on the internet. I'm not interested in that. Right <laughs> now, it's Kyushu Bussin versus Capsule <laughs> Nakayama. You know, it's interesting to see Nakayama Capsule. Um, I live pretty close to that arcade, and uh, I haven't been there. <laughs> hey, you live west side, right? Yeah, I live over by Chofu now, and uh, I'm, I'm, I live pretty close, and I haven't been. I'm, I'm kind of sad that they're at top eight or uh, the end of the uh, playoffs here. Yeah. They could be friends of yours, and you never <laughs> gave them a chance. Dude. Exactly. <laughs> but it's cool to see. Great. Oh, Interesting. Wow, that's a great reversal. Great, great wow. matchup knowledge there. Yeah. It's just, it's more awareness. If you have the bar locked, locked and loaded, you see him do that shit outside of a combo, you got to be ready to run it right back. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. But also you need to know where, where he's going to have to throw the Aegis because, like, that's not going to work. So you need you need to have, like, awareness from before of, of that's what another what That's another money button for Yuri into that jump chop in the air. That I feel like that catches me all the time trying it's to deal with so that button. Fast. Uh, it's it's really like, fast. It's really fast. It's like jump air roundhouse air. is really good for air to ground. But jump yeah. chop is just like God air to air button. It's really good. It's Absolutely. amazing. It's amazing. It's got a couple of really good air to air, air to ground, air to air. This character cheap as hell, man. Both of these characters, I hate them. It's hella cheap. <laughs> uh, especially against Chun, like uh, Yurin has like the the really good corner combos as well. So like easy. Yeah, she got the body type to where you know he can he can really hit. Yeah. <laughs> Some max rank, max damage combos. Here we go. Far fierce working out here. You know, where a lot of characters struggle, I feel like Yurian doesn't um, against Chen Li. He's played safe, wants to build a Nurmir mirror to real four going in. Oh, you know Chaco's looking for that bar in that oh, corner, go. he's going to eat an SA2 instead. Back to the wall Hardy. himself. Ball roundhouse disengages, goes back to the round with the timer. They Look at where Tommy's standing. Look at where he's standing. The control right now. Just outside of Yurian's sweep range. He's trying to do it. Well, he's I hope everyone maybe can hear some of the background noise. Yeah, people are shouting. Suddenly, like a lot of people kind of went wild in that section. Everybody's. Oh, oh everybody wanted. Everybody uh, wanted that. Everybody wanted that. You win. You know, Dusty said something earlier I thought was really interesting. Um, you know, I think Yurian's matchup against a lot of characters, um, it seems really bad until. The Aegis or the Lion. Yeah. Until he gets yeah. a throw yeah, or he yeah, gets yeah, a Crotch yeah, yeah. or until, you know, whatever happens that lets him get an Aegis or like push towards the wall. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then all of a sudden you're like, oh, what? I mean, I mean, you if you're if you're picking you're you're not here to play neutral or all that stuff. <laughs> you're not here to play third strike. Like you, you're, yeah, yeah. You're <laughs> like usually if you if you're playing Yuri, especially at this time, like at this age, this time, yeah. you're, you're you're doing it because you're a love, love monster and want to get the most out of the Aegis setups for sure. It's kind of interesting, actually. Speaking of that, I I was playing at Baba or uh, Mikado um, years ago, and someone told me like. People play Urian because they want to play a one-player game. I can't remember who told me that, but I was like, that makes so much sense. No, no, that's absolutely true. It's like, yeah. you you don't want to play you don't want to play the game. You want to do your fancy <laughs> shit. Much love. I don't want to play with you. I don't want to play with you. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. And it's like I'm, that. I mean, Toy Story. I mean, I completely meme. understand the feeling. Like, uh, like when it when when 
when I play when I play Marvel Three, I don't want to play with the people. Hey, for, for I, you can't be just like throwing kisses out there, man. They got some freaks out there. <laughs> you gotta you gotta let people you gotta say who they're for, bro. You gotta put a name on. I got a lot of fans out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's got the mask on. Yeah, <laughs> dude, they, they're using they're using a, AI can do some crazy shit right now, man. They're taking a capture you. They're already doing some nasty shit. I'm telling you, man. Like, be careful, bro. That's another reason I'm wearing the mask. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, oh, it's five, five now. Yeah. No, no, not yet. Oh, uh, you're in play. Okay. Oh God. Yaku versus. Capsule Nagayama. Yakun is playing Papa perfectly squat. today. Is, is, on, uh, is he going to play Taco. perfectly again? I don't know, dude. I mean, just his, his dive kick is so good, man. Yeah. He never misses Incredible. any uh, Ganesian combo. I mean, God. The best getting Max Nero out of there. Just the Max, man. Max out. It's such a hard thing to come back from losing um, that that badly in the first round or the first to one game. You mean mentally? Yeah, mentally. It's very difficult to kind of like psych yourself up after getting your ass blasted, you know? <laughs> after Yaku, after Yaku <laughs> just does a nasty get AJ combo, max down, max meter game. <laughs> You're like, just well, does, does back shots on you, post I mean, it on Instagram. You're like, I mean, that's an agent and he's playing a single player game like we just talked about you know that's yeah. the whole his they're both trying to do that i mean you're all sick fucks when you really think about it right? <laughs> that's third strike <laughs> right oh you you want you one of them bro you one of them you fucking gogi player don't look i know that's why i turned my face dude <laughs> yeah john just that like, was the call out dude <laughs> trying to trying to do demons you know Let's go, Yakun. The old man still got it. Hell yeah, Yakun's doing real. More than still got it. He's been sweeping. I feel like you bring up that, that's the other thing too, man. It's like he wants it. With the top tier characters in this game, you say a character, and for everybody, I think maybe a different name pops up. But yeah. that speaks to like, bro. There's so many people that grind this game and are like godlike. Yeah. Like, bro. Like everyone knows Chun is is you know, the the goat, right? But you think about how many, how deep that roster goes of just the elite level Chun players is crazy. Man. What? You, that's interesting timing. You know, like um, I, right now Yakun's going to play against Alpha, and I don't know if many people think of Alpha. Alpha is a really good Chun Li player too. He plays in cube fairly often. Mm, I'm super really nice curious. Guy. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. I'm really curious how he's going to do against Yakun right now. Have you played him before? I have. Yeah. I played him many times. What he's, stands out to you about him? Uh, that I don't like playing him. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about Alpha? Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of players and a lot of characters, to be fair, but I guess, uh, all right. <laughs> I feel like a, a lot of Chun-Li players, and um, they ha they're really stoic. And I think you have to be, in order to be really strong with her, um, you can't let people trick you into, like, mix-ups. You can't take low shorts into super, it, because people can, like, Smell blood, you know what I She's mean? also the kind of character where, you know, if you're able to play with good patience and awareness, oh, you're guaranteed you can to win. slow play Some enough to right. where you get your meter back, and that is your that is your comeback factor, right? Yeah. You're only one hit away, really, yeah. in some cases. And then guess for game. Yeah, you know? very, That's very the thing. true, very true. That's what makes her so good. They're a weird type of, like, addictive personality kind of guy, right? You know? Fuck it, I got my all, my, this is all the money I got, I'm putting it on double zero. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And Put then, it all on green. And you can do it again. <laughs> the round after. That's like, crazy. oh, I won? I hit the one out of 30? <laughs> Yo, put that shit on double zero again. <laughs> yeah, Chen is a pretty, pretty wild character, man. The things that she can get away with. Nobody yeah, but it's not can. double zero. It's, it's, it's black or red, right? Yeah. So, you know. I feel like she's got like an 80-20 chance of <laughs> hitting you with a super. <laughs> Too tough, too tough here. Bring back third love. I like that name. That's great. Did you ever go? Did it ever go? Did you ever Where? live anywhere? The third love? Oh, I don't think third I ever love? left. No, I don't know. I didn't ever, never left for me for sure. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I ever left. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. More people, more, more eyes on you, but that's always great. We we kind of alluded to it earlier. It's crazy to me how many 
Wow. How many teams are repping arcade centers that don't even exist anymore? Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's sad, right? But, well, it's it's sad, but it's also it's also like godlike in a way. Yeah. It's, uh, because it's, it's like it shows how much it trans have in their lives. it transcends a pandemic. Think about that. Yeah. Like pandemic was essentially a pillow put over the nose and mouth of some of these business like so many businesses here, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Not even just arcades, but it's just like a lot of businesses. And then like when you think about that and then you look at the crowd that is assembled here, this is where at DreamHack Japan, bro, we're live here at a venue for a massive event, and we're every, everybody in the venue is turning up for fucking Third Strike in 2023. That's the, that's the thing about it, man. It's like, that shit dies, you've been through whatever, but well, I the wanna, people are still out here, man. 